Good morning, day, all creatures of water chain readings, and welcome to Kingdom of Aldana, where the Heron Stannons face a final test today. Previously, on our session, the Heron Stannons have picked up Pidgeric in Nemo, and with the assistance of Lady Kazar, traveled to the Dragon World. You found that while the Fauna of this world was quite different from the prime material you used to. The rest of the rest of it was pretty similar. I mean, the fauna was also kind of different. There was like dragon cabbage and dragon wheat and dragon buckwheat, very different from whatever you grow on fields of Aldana, but still veggies. You met some local dragons, or were met by some local dragons, and escorted into the city and into the tower of one of the dragon's leader, Argiteur, the leader of the silver of the silver flight. He told you of um, the mother of dragons, the dragonfall, the world as much as he could share right now and listened closely to the struggles of Heron Stellans and the worries of humankind about the impeding assault of this traitorous dragon. He told you that most likely you will be forced to undertake the five tests before you will be allowed to meet Grugelor Grant himself and a chance to learn the world of creation. And you have also met Melihorir, the leader of the Copper Flight and the creator of Lewis's necklace, a coil. As Lewis learned a bit more about its history and the previous owner of this coil and the reasons why this coil perhaps gives him the power it gives him. You finished introductions, you had some nice food and went to sleep in the house of uh, Pijurik, who finally reunited with his family and had a um, somewhat refreshing long rest as one of you had very troubling dreams about the collapse of the Great Oak and the return of the mother. It is now the morning of the next day, the 7th of March, as you all wake up in a virus state of Worry. And like Lou. I think we had made arrangements to, after this night, more or less directly head back to start bright and early with the trials. So I think breakfast. Get more information about them. Yes. We're yeah, supposed we... to get like information f on them only b immediately before taking them, mm -hmm. Something if like I remember that. correctly. Like, here's what you need to do for this test: choose one and then run in there. That's how I think I remember it. I will neither confirm nor disagree with it, memory. <laughs> it has been a long time. I am unsure myself. <laughs> So I think, yeah, let's just catch dragon breakfast, where they have um, dragon... Uh, dragon oatmeal and... with dragon cow milk. <laughs> yes. Wyvern milk. Aren't wyvern. all wyverns male? You don't need to ask. <laughs> Actually, like, uh, fun fact, in Warhammer universe, all centigore are male. They're like centaurs. And there is a centigore milk recipe in the latest DLC. <laughs> yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Uh, well, let's say you uh, meet Pijurik and his family in the morning, and he uh, organizes another, uh, not another, but just a breakfast for you all, where you can discuss whatever you want. I'm also looking at you, Trega. No? Okay. Um, I mean, if Melora would hear, would be here, I'd tell her, like, in the morning. I had, like, this disturbing dream. But... 
fair. I don't know if it means anything. Oh, Tracker, did you have your morning wood? It collapsed. <laughs> it's okay, that happens with all elves who are like 70 years of age. You're just some years early, it's okay. Yeah. 20 years early. Alright. Well, if you're keeping quiet, that's fine. Um, in that case, let's say you uh, finish your meal uh, quite early. And Pijerik uh, offers to uh, escort you back to the tower. To the silver tower. Yes, please. Right. In which case he does that without any trouble. Um, you still get a lot of attention on the streets, but um, I guess there must have been some work done with the population last night. So despite uh, getting as much attention as previously, you have no trouble getting through the crowd. Um, and I wouldn't say that all the attention feels or like seems uh, benevolent or happy. Uh, there are Dragonborn who, as far as you can read their scaly faces, are worried or uh, apprehensive about your presence here. Some of you can imagine why, Leos, with your dragon speech, you catch murmurs of basically worrying that you are gonna drag them into the war and while the old dragons you've spoken to remember it and were part of it and were quite uh, understanding of your plea um, most of the dragons who grew up here are just as people in Aldana don't remember dragons um, don't remember Aldana, don't care about Aldana, and don't want anything to do with huge giant dragons fighting wars. Uh, but in any case, you are brought to the uh, front yard of the tower, uh, where you see um, what would be called a carriage, except it has no wheels, just like a wheelless carriage. And uh, I think you approach uh, two of the standing guards uh, going to the tower. Hmm. I think we'll wait outside, I guess, for a little bit. Or are they... I mean, I don't know where this is taking place, so... Yeah, I mean, if we're just waiting out here and actually wait, waiting for us inside would be a little weird. I don't know what... No instruction would be nice. I think we oh, will receive instructions when we need them. I think just staying here is fun. Sure, yeah. Also, is Pidrick still around? Or yes, he's he with you. Once... <laughs> no, he's with you. Yeah. I will ask him... Um, if there's anything we should know uh, in advance, or if uh, someone will tell us where to go, what to do. Uh, Pidgeek points out the carriage and says to you, If I remember yesterday clearly, my master has intended to bring you to meet the other leaders. I think he's being summoned. Okay, I translate. So, so waiting. Okay, yeah, I mean. And honestly, like, not much Hopefully time that. passes since Chichu finished translating. You see Argento exiting out of the tower in his silver robes and nodding to you with a slight smile on his face and uh, walking towards you. <clears throat> I hope the morning leads you well. Good morning. 
So far, so good. Pitchrick's place was very nice, so... Well, I am certain oh. he would be glad to hear that. Yes, if I could tell it to him, I would. But, <sighs> well, are we gonna be traveling for a while to get there? To meet? Uh, yes, we will be traveling to the Obsidian Peak. Just he kind of like points towards that mountain range to the. Right now, it would be like. To the left of you was your 180, but it was basically to the west. No, to the east. To the east. Um, the other leaders will meet us there. Are we taking that? You uh, are taking okay. that. I mean, if you have I mean, a swift a mean of transportation, you are welcome to use it. But I have a feeling it will require your magic, and if you intend to undertake some of the tests today, you might wish to preserve that. Sounds nice. Yeah, I, th I think I think today we can take it a bit slower. And well, as much as I know magic, whatever you can come up with, other will be slower than. My speed or faster than my speed, which would be somewhat inconvenient, considering that you don't know the way. Yeah. And the way, the fastest way that we have doesn't allow for much talking. <clears throat> well, that would be a terrible travel where you cannot talk. <laughs> it does get boring sometimes. Ah. Uh... It really allows you to think, though. That's the fun part. <laughs> well, technically, when we do that my way, I can talk to them. <laughs> so it's kind of a... Uh, well, it's a one-way street, so... Yeah. Oh, yes! Well... So should we get in now, or...? Uh, if you have any fun of preparations. <clears throat> preparations that you would like to make or any equipment that you would like sourced it would be better to do that in the city, yes I summon my bow, I'm done a small copper I don't know if I need it guard drake passes by, I just joke, picks it up and pets it I've sent mine and <laughs> it's huge mm -hmm. ah, yes this is my lizard doggo Um, no, I mean, I don't have anything that we need to get, I don't think, so... Anyone else? Um, uh, not really. I mean... I don't think I've ever said I was retuning to some, most of my stuff, but... Nothing that's needed for now, what I'm saying. Uh, to be fair, the trials will most likely... take you more than a day, and... will require additional travel. It is the oh. meeting that will take place at the peak due to the, uh, let's call it traditions of our kind. Do and these traditions for, sorry. Yes. Do these traditions foresee a specific order to the trials? Uh, I could... Uh, attempt to describe you what you might expect, what might await you, but... Um, no need to ruin the fun. Uh, no, 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 that is not what I mean. The trials were my prediction. There is an opportunity that you will not require them, and there is a chance that you will be denied them. I just think it would be better if you would prepare to plead your case to all of us. But you know that me and Milikharira are on your side, and 
I'm sure at least another one of us will be more than glad to assist you in any way he can. So, I am optimistic. You are mute. Well, I don't have anything. How can I get muted? What? <laughs> I just said so. In that case, let's get going. Yeah. Oh, and please get a board. Yeah, and get a board. Let me present you with experience that. I am certain not many have enjoyed in the previous centuries. As you see him, like, like, look at the carriages you get in, and it's big enough to carry about eight people, so it's a huge carriage, I guess. Um, so we get inside, and you see him, like, latching the door and walking away. Oh, snap, um, PG walks up to like the door and like stands up on the uh, step and like puts his sno uh, snout into the carriage and goes, Well, I wish you all the best in your conversation. And I am certain that the trials will be glorious. I am looking forward to seeing your performance. Uh, okay. So is, is, this, is this some sort of like... Um, <sighs> a public event where a anyone can par uh, watch? I certainly hope that they will be. Okay. Which looks to the side. Well, I'll get out of the way. Yeah. Jumps off this step and steps out. As you hear a sound of like air expanding and a loud. <laughs> and you watch as a giant silver scaled head kneels down the carriage level and you hear Jinturk's voice in your head. No, not in your head, just you hear it in common. <sighs> Hold on to your seats. It might be a bumpy ride. And then you see him stepping over the carriage, blotting the sun. And he's a big boy. He's larger than any dragon you've seen before. Uh, about um, about like 15 feet body length, so not humongous, but then you've got like another 15 feet of tail and like the wingspan of a good 30 feet. Oh, well, like 30 feet is one wing, so like 60 feet. As he like separates the carriage under his belly and grabs onto it with his front claws and <laughs> spreads the wings and you see that oh yeah that's why the first floor of the tower was so large and so much space around and goes <laughs> as slowly the carriage lifts off and you go whoa but a ginger picks up height and Ascends in one space, jerking the carriage as he lifts higher and higher, and as he rises about 300 feet, well above the rooftops of the spires, he begins flying forward, and as he accelerates, and his motions become more smooth, the carriage chills, and you can see that he is actually trying to cushion with his claws, but it's still a fairly 
this way, Trevor. I do have a question. Go. You said Silver Dragon. Yeah. Can I inspect him? Sure, a make bit? me a nature check. Oh shit, I'm so bad at that. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna polymorph into it uh, later. On. Yeah, I wanna. I, I, uh, I wanna try to estimate if I could. Too. You are uncertain of his exact age, mm. but you think this would fall at the very least in the adult category, which would mm. be beyond your ability. Hmm. And you have a feeling it's more than an adult. Because no. he's gotta be at least 500 years old, if not more. Uh, <laughs> too bad. Um, well, there will be a chance for you to see the dragons as I've pleased them to scale. Because I did scale every dragon to how big I want them to be. <laughs> Because, you know, <laughs> gargantuan is not a rule, it's an advice. <laughs> uh, but just not right now. That would be a bit complicated. Um, let's see. I think you're doing funny. Yeah. Um, yeah so, like, you start flying and... Oh, it's good speed, uh, faster than by fly, much slower than by Kirin. But for a creature of this size, I mean, you can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as he kind of picks up about half a mile of height, leaving the city far behind, and uh, by now you've left the. Pr uh, the outskirts of the city and are basically flying over the fields and the rivers and the small groves heading into the mountains uh, you see his hand kind of like lean forward as he looks kind of like under his belly upside down and goes oh how are you feeling down there magnificent very good I am enjoying this a lot I must say Thank you. Can I do throws, please? <laughs> mm -hmm. He's breathing on us. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sea sickness. 16. Uh, I, yeah, you all get sick. Oh, yeah. Then I guess we should 25, do 25, then. Oh, shit. Really? Mm -hmm. I have shit rolls. I mean, I really don't think I should. Because there's no way this is going to go bad. But yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh man! It, look, look at that. It's it's actually eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, when we s s sort the Constitution saving throw uh, bonuses. Nice. Nice. Um, uh, one of us should have had seven. That would have been perfect. <laughs> uh, that is no wait. Actually, uh, I won't have a ten. Alright, Leos, minus the constitution to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, anyway. So, yeah. I mean, once again, it's not the most uh, pleasant of travels, and like, you are as a new Trager would have been feeling it, if not for Trager's inspiring presence, but you have spent more than a week on the deck of uh, the Heron's Wing, and you've went through winds that were much more unpleasant than what's happening right now, so after a bit of acclimatization, you get control of your stomach. Well, um, you fly from, let's see, actually this speed it could take About an hour and a half, I guess, hmm. uh, until uh, Argentina begins picking up height again. 
and um, lifting higher up into the mountain range. Now, compared to uh, Skyrich Mountain, this is barely more than hills. You would approximate them to be maybe like three kilometers tall at the peak. So, while you would feel the change in air density and weather, most of you don't care about weather, and the air density won't fall as far that it would cause you and do discomfort. Although, to be fair, since some of you know the spell, casting it could make your trip slightly more comfortable, but that would be all it would do for you. Oh, sneeze. Oh, sneeze. Ah, one second. Bye. And um, make me perception checks, because I assume you are on the lookout. She let me pull up the picture of the mountains. I have it somewhere here. Yes, the mountains are very mountainy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's speaking of which. Uh, why? Good job, Sardis. Why I didn't get the name? Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, at I least you have a zero. Yeah, That's a go. good roll. Um. <laughs> okay. I guess like Aris and Zardos here just like enjoying the ride, I'm, checking I'm out the mountains. Up at the dragon. Yeah, you're looking up with the dragons, and you're like. Yeah, like, if I could get, like, one of those scales, we could get Trag a new shield. <laughs> no. If, you, if I could get two, I could get me a breastplate. <laughs> yeah, that's more, that's more the way our little people think. Yeah, alright. Um, but it is... Actually, like, another fact is... As you're rising high above, you figure out that... You are on a large island that seems to be about 20 miles in diameter, so large but not very big. And as far as you can tell, at least on this side of the mountain that you haven't crossed yet, up going towards the horizon, it's just water. And you see some small boats in the harbor. On the um, city side uh, or like town side, but not much exciting topography here. And the island itself is pretty flat. There are some hills and like rocky outcrops, but it's mostly just flats, um, a river, a lake. Uh, a couple of forests on the hills, and this mountain range seems to be the only impressive piece of geography that you would find on the whole bloody island. Uh, the question rising, uh, is there anything more than this island? Um, uh, Leos and Elora, however, you notice another large shadow passing around the mountain peak and in where in, in the direction of where you think you are going. You see the sun reflect for a moment on a shiny yellowish scales and you get a feeling you're not the only ones traveling. Um yeah, it's just rush hour. <laughs> So, um, picking up, uh, Argentio gets you up to almost uh, the full height of the peaks as he drifts uh, between the mountain ridges. And you see him flying towards a single peak, uh, a slightly lower one in the distance, that has a kind of... Um, 
like edge, no, not the edge here. Um, edged, jutting outcrop uh, at the front of it. And uh, once again, Julius and Melora see a glittering of dragon scales around that outcrop. It takes another 5 to 10 minutes for him to navigate you around the peaks as he takes up the wind. Uh, but um, on approach, you see uh, four more uh, dragon figures perched atop of that outcrop. And directly under the outcrop is a um, flat uh, rocky plateau towards which uh, Argentur glides towards and the last moment picks up uh, with his wings and holds the carriage to a stop and then tries to, to land it as gently as he can which is not too gently, but nobody breaks anything, so that's good. As the carriage comes to a stop, he <laughs> lands heavily behind you and lets go of the carriage uh, for a moment, and then tells you, sit tight for a moment, and grabs it once again and <laughs> just moves it from the center of it a bit to the side. All right, you can come outside. Uh, not gonna bite. I exit immediately. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? And then you're like, oh fuck, it was latched. <laughs> <laughs> and then you exit. Child safety on. Yeah. Uh, you exit onto a pretty large this rocky plateau and it was pretty hidden by the roof of the carriage and the fact that the carriage didn't have very big windows uh, otherwise there would have been way too much cold wind going into it but you immediately stare not into the dragons as they were left high above but into a mouth of a cave Pitch black, drilling further into the mountainside. You try to assess the height of this cave opening. As you can say, somewhere in the ballpark of 600 feet tall, which is about 190 meters. It's a humongous cave. Argentur, who himself is about 25, 20 feet tall from fingers to raised head is dwarfed by the opening. Do you imagine him and his buddies could make a party in that cave and not even feel claustrophobic? <laughs> then your eyes goes up to the rooftop, not to the rooftop, but to the edge, I guess, upper edge of the cave. And you see as four figures appear from the lip, perching on top of it and peering down at you from high above. One recognizable, actually, no, because you haven't seen it before. How should we do this? Go with this. The center stage takes the largest dragon you've seen so far. With mighty front paws, he holds onto the edge of the cave as a thick scaled neck holds up a magnificent, powerful, majestic, 
golden head with horns protruding behind and a pair of wings. Scaled yet looking kind of like feathers jutting from the side of these dragons. Standing tall, it seems to be a good 20 feet. But actually, I would be more like 16, 17. There is an empty space to one side of it, and to the other, you see a smaller dragon, about the size of Argentio, slightly smaller, with almost rusted color um, coppery scales. Um, one second. Pick up my description. Yeah. Uh, copper scales. You assume this to be the dragon form of Melehariru, who you have seen yesterday. Um, That's the dragon that made the flute, right? Yes, it yeah. is the dragon that made the flute. And on the sides, two small dragons perch. Both, both gargantians in their own rights. One about 15 foot tall, uh, stocky, scales barely containing the bulging muscle. Uh, a dragon of uh, bronze color with ribbed and fluted crest that defines the shape of the dragon going down the neck and down the back and all the way to the tail, colored in bronze and you know this aged greenish bronze colors with frills going down the sides of the cheeks and horns protruding of the sides of those ridges. Um, and last but not least, on the other side, uh, the smallest of the bunch, about 13 feet tall, a brass dragon with um, yeah, with kite-like wings who jut to the sides and connect all the way to the tail, giving him the appearance of the largest wingspan. Um, all of them look old, judging by the uh, warm aged colors of their scales and getting a good look from this side even like you see the eyes of Anjertiro are just pure orbs of silver or mercury but uh, he and leans down a bit and tells you Well, I gonna go join my brethren up on the rock and we shall talk to you about everything I suppose Okay Steps a bit away from you, once again, um, unfolds the wings and picks up. And with a couple mighty swings, lifts himself, lifts himself up into the air and perches on the rock to the left side of the golden dragon. And just because my description doesn't really do them justice, this isn't the map of your current location, but let's put you on it. Mm. Like this. Oh, yes, dragons. Good. Do whenever World 20 decides to load the map for me. Trigo, can you pull yourself on the map so we can compare our biggest person to the rest? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. A 
Okay, all right. Good. I mean, I'm 60 feet wide. I'm that, I'm that fat. All right. So. Hmm. That's Let's just your ego. Do it one by one. Oh. <laughs> Okay. That looks fucking dope, honestly. Much better than that. That's PH. Just for its benefit. That is a really fucking cool picture. Um. It's not the plan. Please Look at the me. at the freaking muscles on this one. Yep. <sighs> and this dragon looks down at you and like, nods, acknowledging the start of negotiation, and all of them kind of lie down on the rocks and hit against. I am Morguzor, the leader of the Gold Dragon Clan, the master of the treasures, the lone guide, the warden of the small races. Beyond the presence of my brethren, the Horir, the leader of the Copper Dragon Clan, the millennial host, the keep of the tales, the caution of the olds, and the sound of the small races. My brother, Argentia, the leader of the silver dragon clan, the virtuous one. And there goes my internet. The keeper of the past, the memory of friends, the ambassador. Small races. My sister Ogardian, a leader of the Bronze Dragon Clan, defender of the dragons, ally of the good, seeker of the lost treasures, the guardian of the small races. My brother, Leighton. Leader of the Brass Dragon Clan, the soulful one, the speaker of the dragon kind, the friend of the small races. We are here to speak about your challenges, about the mother, about the world. And the roles for all to play the upcoming week. I've heard the gist of your brother. I will give you a chance to offer more words that have not been spoken. That you wish to direct all of us as all as one shall decide your fate. Does this feel like an appropriate moment to speak up? Yes. Uh, hello. Uh, let me start this conversation by thanking you for uh, first of all your hospitality and receiving us and giving us a chance to speak with you to have a conversation um, as uh, 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 has probably s summarized already we are looking to receive the word of creation to help in uh, in the attempt to help our world defend itself against uh, the mother of dragons who 
will return by our estimations shortly and threatens to maybe not destroy but to maybe enslave our kind seek vengeance and well to be honest we're looking for any other support if not the word then any other support you can give wisdom or uh, things that would help us defend ourselves anything that you are willing to share with us would be appreciated beyond what I can express with words. And we are at your... Oh. Yeah, and for the record, they are speaking common, so... You know, the only one is going on. These boys are old enough to have lived in the world where a common was actually studied. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, we are called Heron's Talon, uh, we are part of the Aldanian, um, Aldanian King's forces, and we have spent the recent months and all of our energy and lives to defend our kingdom against other evil forces and hopefully this will be another force that we will manage to defeat. Uh, I will give a short introduction. This is Melora, this is Trago, this is Ardas, and this is Arlis. And I am called Leos, or Adam. I do prefer Leos. Are you sure they can hear us? <laughs> yes. We can have bad hearing, Trigo. We can. There is no question. The validity of your claim. The question I rise is whether you are the ones to learn the world. is a weapon of last resort it has caused more peril than good for the dragon kind why must it be you who get to learn it I think there might may the there are essentially two at least two reasons for that for one we have given it everything to defend our world against uh, forces that seek to d destroy us and we only do intend to do uh, well i would call it good with the word we don't wish to misuse it we only wish it to use it for this fight. And one other reason is that we do have at least three people who are capable of using what we might be considered our version of the word. And Arlis, I point at him, has even already learned word of power so he has pr already proven that he can handle the power and
And I would add that if uh, you do not wish for the word to be in anyone other's mouth than that of one of your kind, that would be perfectly fine by us. Anyone who is willing to wield the world and come back to the material plane to fulfill the ritual, we'd be more than happy to have. It would be more support in learning it ourselves, to be real. But since that doesn't seem like a likely option, this is the least of many evils. And on the plus hand, um, we're the short-lived kind. So, the damage one might do as a ward would be severely limited by age. Even if it is not our intent in the slightest, I'm sure it wasn't the intent of any one who used it before either, and you've said it still brought great peril to your kind. My quick precision checks, both of you. Oh man, that's a shit roll. Yeah, but you hated Wally Conspiration, don't you? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Keep forgetting you don't have that anymore. I have the same persuasion as Arliss. That's good to know. <laughs> Why wouldn't you get any higher without expertise? His head turns towards you, Arliss. Yes. Your kind is short-lived, and that is why they tend to seek extension. I fear death. This world will be the temptation. I can personally say that I do not fear death. Do what? I already have, multiple times. I've put myself through it, in the first place. Just others. It's more concerning than things been maturing. Make another procedure check. <laughs> Don't say that, there go. <laughs> oh god, okay. Another one. Oh, damn. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Stark, yeah. You. Your ache of grief. Despair. Yes. He said that to Arlis or to Leos? To Arlis. And the ones by your side are no better. Well, I have died 3,358 times. I do not fear death. I want to insight check Leos because I don't know that. I will do the precision check the dragon. I... I can only say that that is the absolute truth. I wouldn't come up with such an absurd lie. And I have the Raven Queen to to back my claim. Yes. You know, no fear. Fear is the mind killer. Are you going to roll me the precision check or not? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I wasn't... Uh, I mean, if you want to make it a deception check. If you... Do you want to make it an intimidation check? Uh, no. I've died no. 3,000 times, dude. You can't do shit to me. Ugh. I have made a vow. I would call it a holy vow that the Raven Queen will uphold me to, to protect our world. I... 
wouldn't be able to misuse it. Because I made that vow with honesty in my heart. Though the others may not have made the same experiences, we all have that same intention in our heart. We want to do good, and if that word is so dangerous, I'm sure that you, uh, you would, in preparation, for uh, uh, would hopefully help us guide through this process of learning the word, making us aware of the dangers, so we can be sure that even unwillingly, by accident, we don't cause any harm. We, that we don't mess up. I do understand that the word is is extremely powerful and I personally believe that power is always shaped by those who wield it and not by the power itself. So with proper guidance and with proper intention I do believe that the word can do good in assisting us with defending our world. And I would gladly trade it away once we're done with it. If you possess the power to make me forget it once I've used it for the intention that we, uh, uh, that we need it for, I would gladly come back and let you wipe my memory. I can have a persuasion check. So you say. And I believe you. And I believe that you believe that. But we have seen many men corrupted by power. The absolute power corrupts absolutely. The vows of gods are beneath us, but we will hold you to our own vows if You will be given the honor to uphold such a vow. I've heard you, but you are not alone. As the rest of you. With our tongue. Should I go? Frankly, I'm just still a bit... Uh, in awe. In awe of this situation. I can just say that... We always try to do our best. To defend those who cannot defend themselves. And we would not have gotten here and gone through all the trouble if we would not believe this to be our last resort. Uh, We've seen also a person corrupted by power back from your days. We've seen what pain it causes to our kingdom, not only to our kingdom, but to others as well. I think we all have learned from it to not follow that path.
Make a precision check. You speak with conviction. Can you swear that you will take it upon yourself to end Chevo Hazer one is lost to the world? I vow it. I can have a What about the Hornet King? Well, I think I can say none of, no one here seeks power for power's sake, but only to do what must be done to help those around us and fix the mistakes of past generations. So you say, yet among the rest of them, the stench of death is the strongest on you. Well, I can't deny that. As I said, it was not for my own sake, but to be able to be a, great, a greater aid to those around me. It's not something I personally sought out. In fact, it was something I was attempting to avoid for the longest time. But when duty calls, no matter how much you may want to run from it, you eventually have to stand up and do what must be done. No matter the cost. Well, I've made the I made the choice to pay that price when the time comes, instead of running from it. That is a dangerous approach. I don't deny that. If there is an alternative. I'd be happy to take that. And are you certain there was none? None that I could find in the moment. Make a decision, Chuck. Not so much for all the good rolls. Still decent. It's not over the twenties that we charisma-based characters are rolling. Seems to be in deep thought. Then looks to the right, looks to the le right, left. It 
This a people of conviction. Mistaken, short sighted, but conviction. And yet, I feel sink weakness in their midst. One bad apple spoils a whole bunch. Were I counsel in our decision is decided by vote. And so I say that this must not be allowed within the continent of the world lest we suffer disaster worse than we have suffered four centuries ago. What do you say, brothers and sisters? The muscular bronze dragon on the left side breaks up and goes this is the reason we made trials. Let them stand trial. If they make it, they'll make it. If they don't, their sins will be laid bare before us. And judging from the words of our brother, I am certainly looking forward to the one who faces me. Lies back down. Miliherer perks up. Humans are creatures of emotion. They're fickle. And it is hard for them to hold on to memories like we do. But I believe that it is their... ...motions that give them the strength. To endure... ...temptations. As much as I feel death in their hearts, I feel love. And I prefer to believe that it will prevail. Let them send trial. Argento breaks up. I wish this discussion was just about them. I have to admit. They're not the only ones being judged here. And we may get no second chance. Now as a group, come and find us. I do not expect them to fail. But even if they do, we owe them, give them a chance, let them tend trial. Right on the right, looks up. Well, you know me, you know me, you know me, I tell a really cool story, wonderful story, long story. 
Oh boy, would there have been a lot of stories written about them. You know what? You know what? You know what? I think that's not it. That's not it. There's got to be an end to it. There's got to be an end to it. It would be really uncool if we just tell them to go away. So... Come and get it. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Yeah, I like that one. Algersor stands up again. I see that youth reigns in this council today. So be it. They shall stand trial. Thank you for allowing us a chance to prove ourselves. That's all we ask. That's all we can ask. That's all we want to ask. All that in the word and all the help we can get. Yeah, but, yeah. Still. Even if you decide to not grant it to us, we will continue to fight. And if that's the last thing we do, then that's the last thing we do. So thank you for offering a chance to do it with the word. And I might like to add a different perspective to one spoiled apple ruins the bunch. I don't believe in a chain that breaks at the weakest link. I believe that the individual weaknesses can be compensated where other people are stronger and vice versa, only making us better, even if weak in some regards. Those are pretty words. And it seems my keen and just as weak as the words, they have always been. And yet, as I say, every human deserves a chance to disappoint me. <laughs> I even laugh in character, I think. I believe you can take it over from here, brother. Nods to Argentero and steps away from the edge and walks out of line of sight. The rest, however, remain where they are, some observing you curiously, some judging you quietly as Argentero. Ends up once more. Says, Well, it went almost wonderful. And I think that is the point where I can tell you more about the trials. You can take all the time you need. I know that you're in a rush, but to get a single chance, there are times when you should not. You can pick the order of the trials, and the individuals to undertake them. You can even choose a single champion to take all five. But you must understand that you are here not to pass the trials, but to be judged. It will be hard task to judge you. 
if you choose to stand aside. As I have said before, the trials are five. The trial of Brawl will have you face one of us. Not one of us, but me. You see the dragon that has been introduced as Rogardian. The bronze dragon perk up. It's been a long time since I've had a good challenge. Especially from one without wings. Well, there you have it. You don't have to defeat her, as we do not expect you to. But show a good fight. Second test. Oh, well, the other test. There is a test of Arcana. It would be me, Omele Horir, who you will face. Will not be combat, but a proper arcane duel. A caster against a caster. A spell against a spell. You'll use your knowledge, the standing of arcane, to block, deflect, or avoid each other's magic. You'll be brought to our testing grounds. But our wards will protect you from any harm. The one to be struck down multiple times first, we consider the loser. Though, we know loser, again, holds no hold over your success in the trials. The third trial will be a trial of eloquence. Oh, oh, me, 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 me! Goes the brass dragon to the right. Yes. The ton will engage one of you in debates. You'll be given a choice to bring your own topics to discussion. Or select one randomly from the box of random debates. You'll choose your site and gargle for it. The rest of us, the eight that watch, will vote for the stronger argument. If we come to a tie, the strength of your argument and the box of random debates will consider and choose the winner. The one to win three arguments first Consider the winner. So again, you don't have to win. Succeed in the trial. The test of reflexes. We'll have one of you face one of us in the chamber of traps. You will engage in a game of tag while trying to avoid or circumvent. The traps will challenge your reflexes, your quickness, the lightness on your feet will be judged. The one who attacks their opponents five times first will be considered the winner, though you do not have to win to pass the trial. Last but not least, you'll face yet another one of us in the test of insight. Whether we shall engage an exchange of tales, both believable and amazing, as you will have to judge your opponent's tale. See. Whether it is truthful or not, the first 
to judge three tails right. Well, because it is a winner. They were not necessarily successful in the trials. You may take your time to choose the order and the individuals who will take these challenges. You may take them all in a single day or stretch them for as long as you desire. You will not be harmed or hurt in any of the trials, even the violent ones. But your life will be protected by our wards. Just remember, while we place no restriction on the use of equipment, magic, or abilities, each of these tests is there to test a certain attribute, talent of yours. Circumventing the talent, failing to be judged, avoiding the test, or using tools that don't allow us to judge you properly, will not help your case. So consider which one of you and which of your abilities are best suited to display your mastery and your affinity, ultimately your ability to be entrusted in mind, body, heart, soul, and something else. Courage, I suppose. If you succeed, then we will awaken the father. And he, if he agrees with our judgment, will share the word with you. Can only one take the test? Yeah. You don't he, the, have to, but... I think he means can we can't share the test one yeah. test between two people. Right. Uh, no, it's one and one. Okay. <clears throat> do we... Do, 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 uh... Let's... To be to be honest, I would if if so. In the reflexes test, that's Zardos for sure. Would it be considered cheating if one were to use an item that allows them to do something? Are you asking in character or object? In character. As I have said. You can use whatever you deem helpful in the test. As we do test your ability, overcome challenge means. Honestly, honestly, I might be the best one for the reflexes. I am so fast. Really? <laughs> I can do a lot of things. But I don't think it's the right test for me. No, you're for sure probably eloquence. Or insight? No, insight is Melora, right? Well, that's... Oh, that's, uh, oh I, I will do whatever you guys want me to do, I guess. Okay, bro. <laughs> well, if you want me to, I mean, they didn't say we have to win. I was okay, okay, okay. I, mean, um, I, just, I just hope she's not resistant to lightning. <laughs> I'm sure we might need to discuss this uh, a bit 
Um, um, once we have made a decision, uh, shall we just inform you? Can we just like stay here and talk and talk amongst ourselves for a moment? Welcome to stay here. Oh, if you wish, I can bring you back to the city. I think here is fine. After all, most okay. of the facilities are not here. Mm. And... Well, many of the tests really don't need a place. But the arena for the brawl and the arcana. And the room of reflexes. Are not anywhere in the mountains. Not that we couldn't fight you here. Uh, but since we're trying not to kill anybody, there are powerful worlds where we would prefer the fight to happen. As it would prevent a mortal injury to either side. <clears throat> okay, then let's... Uh, uh... We will confer amongst ourselves and uh, make a decision on how we uh, will approach this. Okay, um, for the insight test, it would be beneficial if that is done by someone who's good at bullshitting. Yeah, I thought the same. So but they also need to detect the lies. Yeah, it's both sides. You need to be good at bullshitting too. And you need to be able to see if the other side is lying. I think I can handle this. <laughs> yes. Bullshit! You're, you're strong Inside check! <laughs> you're, you're a strong candidate for uh, rank 5. Yes, yes. Sub. But I can read any situation, guys. Just... Mm -hmm. That is exactly why. I'm totally reading this one right now. I can tell exactly what all of you are thinking. Perfect idea. What about Arcana? It's got to be one of the three of you, Arliss, Leos, or Melora. Definitely not me. I, I think it's... I should do either the eloquence or inside thing. It's a, I think if it's a battle of spells, yeah, uh, the, I'll... The countering would be important in that. Yeah, and I think that's Zardos and me. Ah, um, and well, Zardos might know. Hearing more. that, Argento interrupts. Uh, oh, I think I've forgotten. No, who counter spell? Uh, no, you will be allowed the use of counter spell, but each side will be allowed to use it only once. Further use will be considered a disqualification. After all, otherwise it would be an extremely boring and an imaginative and an <laughs> unimaginative duel where both sides uh, struggle to shout counter spell louder than the other one. For those that have to shout. <laughs> oh snap. <clears throat> um, I think you... Arlo can take the Arcana uh, test with the insight, because he's gonna bullshit and gonna cheat. I think you have misunderstood the definition of a duel. Yeah, I the rules will not be rules of conventional combat, where you fling a fireball and hope that your opponent fails to dodge it. You will be unable to dodge it completely, after all. Instead, you will be encouraged to use your magic to avoid damage completely. Either by oh. teleporting yourself to a different location and dodging the fireball completely, or conjuring a wall of stone or force between you and blocking said fireball, or blasting it with a cold, blizzardly air, counteracting it. I see what <sighs> you're saying, but uh, I also see what you're getting at this. Uh, being able to tell what the other side is doing, so you know what reaction to take. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. So, to be honest, it's e for me personally, it's 
Arcana is either Arliss or Melora. I don't think, honestly, I, I don't think that any one of the rest of us is qualified to. to... I think might be more qualified. No, I don't think Not so. Not quite on that level. Well, your theoretical knowledge of spells goes far beyond what the two of us know. I think it's mostly avoiding being hit no, rather so than hitting. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's more like a yeah. So like his uh, blood coffin might work to shield the spell, and other <laughs> abdominal. I don't know if that works. The thing is. <clears throat> Counterspelling is easy because I didn't need to know what the other side is doing. If I need to react appropriately with the right spell to block a fireball, for example, I need to know what's coming first. And knowing what's coming, that is theoretical knowledge of spells. <clears throat> okay, let's 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 do this differently. Let's not focus on this one because we we obviously have uh, different possibilities there. Let's talk about Brawl. Yeah, I think that's... I, that's... I think that's an easy choice between either you, Trego, or you, Zardos. And to be honest, I think the heaviest hitter of us is Trego. The, the real question is, if you put... Say you put Zardos in Brawl, where are you going to put Trego? <clears throat> Reflexes. You have the best uh, saving throws. Deaths. <laughs> You have the, you have the biggest bonuses to all but, of your saving throws. But you also need to hit the other side, I think. Yeah, hit. You can misty how. step. Who knows how? I mean, if it is going to be <clears throat> or not makes a huge difference. But it might not be. It might be you can just use it here. <sighs> Look, don't if know. you don't. Make Trego fight a dragon, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> <laughs> Trego is gonna go for eloquence. I, so. I mean, theoretically, I... I think I have... a few tools at my uh, um, disposal that I could do the reflexes thing. But to be honest, you know that I'm a talker, not a no. fighter. The reflexes test is I, I put you on a chair and they like hit your knee with a ass little hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so, a doctor's checkup. <laughs> I'm thinking uh, Brawl Trego uh, Insight Leos Reflexes Zardos. And then it's between Eloquence and Arcana. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and putting Melora in eloquence is, uh, sorry, dear, but it's a bit risky. Let's put it that way, putting Jesse into eloquence will be uh, torture yeah, that she does Jesse not deserve. Into eloquence is going to be risky. So that's why then you'll put uh, Melora in Arcana and then Arliss into eloquence. Oh no, please no. I don't want to debate Sam. <laughs> He's gonna debate me so hard. <laughs> oh please! Don't I could also just do everything <laughs> and die in the brawl immediately. <laughs> no, yeah. The thing is, is they're trying to tr judge judge us all. So we yeah. could also choose a champion. It's definitely an option. They said. That. I think it's a bad option. We don't have to, if we don't do it uh, in one day. We are applying as a group. Nah. We are not one individual, and any one of us would fucking suck at at least one out of these five. <laughs> Usually more than one. You don't know what I can do now. You don't know me. You would fucking suck at one out of these five, is what I'm betting on, even if I don't know. Just one. I see you're doing well in at least four. He's a bard, he's good at everything. I see myself Wait, doing... Anymore? <laughs> I see myself doing one or five of them, but... Uh, unfortunately, there's no test of self-confidence. <laughs> we'd be pretty good right now, but... If we... 
I think if we if we were to choose me as a single champion, that would be a test of confidence. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> well, yeah, I, 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 I'm not I'm not saying that that I'm the best in everything. I just say that. You're definitely. I the think best I would do. I, I think I would surprise you in a brawl. If we had to, if we had to choose one person to take hall five, I would also take you. But um... yeah, let's maybe let's not do that because I pressure and stuff. Okay. So brawl, Trego, you want to do that, right? It's it's a given. Also, Ben said he's gonna ride if it's not me. Okay. Trego, uh, Zardos, what do you think? Which one would you be uh, best suited for? Well, you know, I'm taking everything, but... Uh, Swerver... Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's... Could be anything. He's... All right. Reflexes. This must be someone who's very mobile, right? Mobile. They said there's a lot of a room full of traps. So How about Sorry. your purchase from the other side? You are supposed to engage in a game of tag. A game of tag is a game for kids. Who's the kid? Me. Sure. Not quite. Who's the fastest then? Well, the kid who's the youngest. Uh, me, I'm the child here. Who's the fastest, really? Rex. Do you have haste? Mm -hmm. Any of you? Mm -hmm. Did oh, Zardas my... have haste? No. Uh, do you have haste? Uh, no, I don't. Melora has. Oh. Do you have. Uh, Blink, not blink. What's it called? Uh, it's missy yesterday. step. Too much league. I have far step. I yeah, can essentially be... just teleport around. Like yeah, I want to. Yeah, but yeah, but if we're gonna be splitting these tests up, it's clear that you are uh, gonna be going towards another one where it's uh, less clear who can take it. I think Same. this one here could probably be taken by three out of five. Let's say if we put Leos here, then where do we put Zardos? Spell, Arcana, but... That leaves Melora and you for insight and eloquence. Yeah, that's why no. So Leos is not doing reflexes. Process of elimination. I, th I, th I, th I think I actually might be... It's not I about. Be... Go ahead. I might be best. There are two things that I'm really good at. Dying and talking. Is that Melora holding up her hand or the DM? Yes, let's say it's Melora holding up her hand. Um, guys, I think we are arguing too much and not going anywhere. How about we like sit down and we, like write down a list of names like for like each trial who we think is the most suitable and the least suitable and we just like put points on it and we just like calculate and see who gets the most points because we're just going in circles i have so. a proposal brawl zardos uh sorry trego arcana melora eloquence arliss Inside this one and reflexes Zardos. Yes, I agree. Wait, that's Zardos twice. No. No, you do the brawl. Did I, Zar was that Zar one heard first twice? Um, I misspoke I... at the beginning. I Maybe. said oh. Zardos first, but then I said, no, I mean Trego, because for some reason I can't tell you apart. Basically, everybody knows that Zardos is stronger, but they want you to believe that you're stronger, so they 
Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yep. I just didn't that's, want to say it. <laughs> that's pretty much what's happening here, yep. I see what's happening here. On the other hand, you are... You, I don't know what... What kind of traps would this be? It, would this be traps that... Um, Hopefully not traps for the mind. Yeah, because then, then, then uh, actually, I might, uh, I might say that Zardas might be best suited for brawl, and Trevor might be for reflexes. Or, or testing reflexes. <laughs> Come on, you, 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 you're pretty much indestructible. I'm not as fast though. I have three misty steps, and that's it's about not it. Only, look, it's not only about speed. It's about dodging the traps. It's about making sure that you are not being held down by something so that someone can touch you. And yeah. I, I think with your... I don't know what it is whenever I'm around you. It feels like I can just... There's this thing that makes my body move a bit faster, react a bit faster. I'm just saying, and you do have Missy Step, right? You can close in on someone when you need to. Mm -hmm. And you can smite tag someone. I. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, Traeger. I had you fight a death knight one on one. Are you sure you can take on a dragon one on one? <laughs> Okay. No, last time I went with the dragon one on one, I lost terribly. Uh, okay, let me let me change my question. Do you want to take a dragon one on one? Honestly, I just want to see if you can uh, uh, how much damage you can do in like two rounds with uh, smiting. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, I mean, Zardos is also a heavy hitter when he takes out his uh, shadow blade. True. Let's do what Melora said. I'm trying to do the point uh, point by system. So you can get either well, between one and five and points in each okay. test. Okay. Question about Arcana, Eloquence, and Insight. Does anyone disagree with uh, with Melora, Arliss, and uh, and I taking those challenges? Because then it's really just about brawl and reflexes, right? Yeah, I think that's where things are most hung up at this point. Wait, I okay. uh, see you take insight, Zardus take uh Zardus. Uh Arliss takes eloquence and uh Bellard takes Arcana. See I think that tongue slip just says that they, everyone wants Zardus to take everything and be fine. <laughs> exactly. Watermelon wants out. Okay, now while he's gone, let's just kill all the dragons. <laughs> Roll initiative, let's go. <laughs> He's caught off guard. Okay. Okay. Each of us can give two points and one point. So, for example, I could give two points for Trego. Or no, that doesn't make sense. How about you just assign the person yeah. you want the most in any... You just go one to five for each slot. And the one who has the lowest average is how we'll take it, basically. Or we could just say we have to choose one for each. And see where, who has the most counts. Yeah, so uh, yeah. just just send your list with the assigned. Essentially and... like this. This would be my vote. Yes, 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 yes. And, then... and, and we just really have to do it for Brawl and Reflexes because I, th I think we agreed on the other choices already. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, well, that makes it quite clear. Majority vote, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying don't I'm, I'm... fucking disappoint me, Trago. You don't oh. kill the dragon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, we all do fine. I know that that is your strength. We're both good at the at both of them, I think. Mm -hmm. Look at it this way. If you manage to kill the dragon, that's where uh, you know Zardas thing. You know. Oh yeah, he gets a dragon uh, soldier. Dragon mount, yes. He becomes uh, Dovakin. Yeah, you know, like like uh, vampire footlords are just not very good. Look, in Heroes Three, the the skeleton dragon was the weakest of the seventh tier. Oh, okay. That's why you go for zombie so... dragon. I would do so well in a brawl. I could polymorph into a fucking look. Oh, yeah. If you wanna fight Rogardian just for the sake of it, I'm pretty sure she's gonna say yes to it. Just oh, okay. give yeah. her a long rest, maybe, after Trago, because I think she will need it. <laughs> she oh, cool. will need it. So, yeah, we can just challenge her just for the heck of it later. No, I'm yeah. fine with it. She needs to be run out a little bit. Real yeah, question, but... though. What buff should I maintain on myself? Shield of Faith, Bless, or... Gre Grease. Uh, no, there's... Uh, what's it called? Stone Skin. I always have that prepared, never casted it before. Do you have no the Diamond Dust? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't. Well, we do, we do have we Diamond do, Dust. But yeah, I don't know if we want to use it. Yeah, that and... I don't know, Stone Skin... Never seen it's so originally the barbarian when he rages. Yeah, but non magical. Mm. Right. Uh, I would probably like much much everything. a shield, a shield yeah. of. Everything can overpower the Do I have sanctuary? No, I don't. I would probably use shield of faith. Bless. Or bless. Or bless. Yeah, it's either shield of Bless. But bless is an action, shield of faith is a bonus action. True. I would go with shield of faith because that means you get two attacks directly, and I think you. I've never really seen you miss that much. I mean, either way, we are decided right now, right? So we might as well. It's up to you, buddy. Your choice. That's I want to. I want to see if I should prepare spells okay. differently before the duel. Nobody told you it has to be today. I mean, I'm down for a debate right now, you know? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we... Picking some spells might be a good idea. So how does the test of reflex work? It's trying to catch... Trying to catch one of you? Trap? There already filled with traps, I believe. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a game of tag where you have to tag someone five times, and then you win. While dodging traps. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, they might be not the kind of traps you thought of originally. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Send oh, so, 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 so this this challenge is going to be in Thailand, right? Yes. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. 
do have a holy weapon in the fifth uh, spell slot, but that will take my concentration. Smite with it. Yeah, it's a two. It's an extra two d eight on damage. Yeah, yeah which, which for you is yeah, pretty nasty. Everything if else I, if on. I crit. Yeah. Oh, you mean uh, it's like massive damage back to back over and over. Holy thing, weapon holy thing, holy weapon. Holy weapon. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, in order to pay off, you'll need to hit at least four times with it. Hmm. Which means you need to drive your concentration checks for a long time. Up to you. There's also Banshee Smite, but uh, would that oh, make God. them permanently in Aldana? <laughs> if you didn't want to help us, banish back to Aldana. <laughs> I think it's a charisma. It's another way save. to get some help, you know? I think dragons are going to be pretty safe versus a charisma save. And if not, they'll use their legendary resistances. It's okay. Just run around just banishing all of them and eventually. It, I think it has to do with. Uh, it, it's not you a save. said it's the a... hall is not big enough for you to go back to Aldana! Boom! How about this? <laughs> uh, it, uh, tell them it's not a saving throw. If they're beneath 50 HP, they're just. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, good luck. That's hard. Good luck. That's hard. I definitely don't want to go first. Yeah, um, me neither. I'm trying to think the best spells to have first. I don't no, want to go, go first, first either. <laughs> you should you should go first. You will just run in and smash the fuck. It's mostly just uh, utilizing my bonus action. Because uh, once I uh, use it for uh, uh, Shield of Faith, probably the first time, then it's going to be either just shove. And yeah. Uh, I don't think you can shove a dragon. But you can but try. Certainly try. Yeah. I mean, you can probably shove the leg a few inches <laughs> aside. Uses smites as a bonus action, I guess. No. The uh, spell smites, like wrathful smite or thunder smite. Oh, while you do that, I'm gonna go get all the dice I'll need for the dragon points. I mean, I'm always down to start. What's the worst that could happen in the bait? Uh, you defeat me so hard, I run away crying, and we stop the session for the night. Uh, that's super unlikely. <laughs> you overestimate my power! Same, same to you. Uh, in university, there's a debate club. I don't know if, if you have that in uh, Russia or it, Switzerland. I mean, it, it, it I exists. Guess. Not Just... like I'd ever visit that, but yeah. it exists. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you were like the mayor of Debate Town or something. Uh, no. Uh, it's Adam. Uh, Why? What? You talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't talk too much, he just talks to the point. Talks too much to the point. Well, I'm guessing I can go first. Sure, why not? Reflex the third and then... We, uh, second and then we start with the fun. <laughs> preparing some bullshit, Leos. Yeah, some bullshit stories ready. Also, before I start, should I go all out? Or should I reserve for, you know, in case of you the real... You fucking go all out. But no, wait. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. You go in there and don't. I take the. Uh, I start dodging the attacks. You go in and show them how much you can destroy not about that. things. Not about that. Not about that. Uh, I have the thing where if I use it, I need to wait a week before Sun Warrior comes back online. Oh. I don't I know if we not, have. A... I wouldn't. Yeah, maybe that not. Part, personally. 
Yeah. All the rest. Go the rest. Also, the rest go, also have go hard, assuming that this is the last thing you do on that day, and then go directly to sleep. Okay. So, so as hard as pockets. the water in my well. <laughs> Your sister. All right. Let's go with this. We're gonna take a break. I'm gonna eat. And you guys can finally decide who goes first, who goes second, who goes third, because all of those people are me. Also, I'm really liking how pale I look in this monitor light. Also, yeah, but it's also the lighting in your room is white. Yeah, yes. Yeah. All right. See you in. See you in a bit.
And we're back. All right. So, gentlemen, have you decided the order of your... Yes, Mallory goes first. Yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so play that out with yourself. All right. So Mallory goes. Mallory wins. Who's next? Awesome. That was cool. Um, brawl first. I'll go second. I'll go last. Yeah, you'll go where? <laughs> you'll go where? Yes, we said Brawl first, uh, then Arliss. Yeah, Arliss will go do what? Debate. Eloquence. Oh, debate, okay. Alright, and what does Leos intend to do? Insight. And Zardos doesn't do anything? Okay. Uh, reflex. He's third. Yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, he's gonna go third. And we'll save Arcana for when yeah. Jesse's around next week. We're gonna save Insight for that as well, judging by how this most likely is gonna go. Alright. Uh, any way and any who. Uh, do, 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 let's see. And let's it's about 10 in the morning right now. So, uh, Turego. Uh, well, more like all of you are still technically on that rocky mountain. The dragon's kind of chilling. I'm looking over you. Because it's been a while since I got to look at humans, argue, and scamp around. Uh, yeah. Please, introduce your plan to the dragons. We have come to a decision. Uh, we will all take each one test. Trego. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Trego will um, give. Um, Question out of character was Leighton the the brass dragon that was looking for a fight, uh, or was it uh, Rogadian? Leighton was a brass dragon who's not looking for a fight. Rogadian was yes. a bronze dragon who is looking for a fight. Okay, uh, he has. Uh, we have decided that Dragon would be the first one to offer the. Um, or would ask for the ch uh, to challenge your guardian in the brawl. Ha! Finally, a worthy opponent. Well, I will say some of us would like to challenge later, just to try it out. Oh, these days getting even better. If you need to know so anything I about the Rogardian, know she identifies as a Gundam. Not all of us here have had a chance to fight a dragon, so we see how it goes. Yeah. So you say that some of you did have a chance? Yeah, I've only fought the fake dragon created by Kazar. Are any of you? Oh no! Yes, you decided that it's not the best idea to wear dragon armor right now. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Well, I was told that I am to bring you to the arena where you will be protected by magic. Let's go. Race you there? Where is it? <laughs> At the beach. You wouldn't miss it. Are we already there? <laughs> Not yet. The beach map? When Nudge Jax goes like, ah, if you want to, I could uh, bring you along. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. please. We would like to watch and cheer our friend on, if that is allowed. And uh, you are allowed to watch, but not to cheer. 
cheer is Stand. cheering is an abomination, and is prohibited <laughs> by the dragon laws. Okay. I am Stand. kidding you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, get on. We will. Yes. Then I do. This form is too itchy. I can't get to my back. Alright. So yeah, you all get on the carriage. And... Uh, well, it seems that all of the four present dragons are actually curious in watching. Because I think one of them is going to fight. Uh, so, Milharir and Leton also uh, kind of escort you as you fly. Which kind of means that you're currently being escorted by the most powerful air force you have ever experienced in this game. <laughs> uh, but uh, you take another you know, like two hour flight and you reach the beach um, where actually you are already on it. Because that's the map I used to show you guys the dragons. And as you land, it does appear that the notice of your trials has have arrived much sooner than you have arrived. Meaning that uh, outside of this map for their own safety, the amphitheater the amphitheater is filled with dragonborn who are interested in observing these outsiders fighting one of their leaders, so to speak. Uh, and if you look very, very hard, not Ardis and Zardos, then you might even be able to see Pichurik on the stands. Uh, but uh, the remaining dragons, this guy did not come, you have no idea where he is. Uh, land on the rocks and chill and they're gonna observe as Argentium also like lands your carriage slightly off the map because they don't want it to break and uh, gets out of it gets you out of it and well the beach is your arena and as you kind of like walk into the sand track you feel like some source of resistance as if you're walking through like a pudding wall uh, but nothing seems like happen you feel the same your strength is the same your research is the same uh, but uh, Rogardian lands on the other side of the beach and tells you Have a warm up. Now I'll go change it to something more size appropriate. And bigger. stomps behind some rocks. Trigo warms up. By starting a fire and warming up next to it. <laughs> um, it takes a good 10 minutes of waiting. Yes, from those rocks comes a humanoid figure. A draconic female creature in full plate bronze armor. Or at least bronze color, I don't think it's actual bronze. Tall, elegant looking. She's got a tail. Which is not how Dragonborn usually look like. Ooh, nice. So hot. That's a really cool picture. Load. Okay. Uh, let me switch over. Yeah. And she kind of checks 
her shield and in her right hand she holds some kind of a pike, but she holds it with one hand. And it is a long weapon. And she kind of sticks it into the sand. What's your name, human? Trago Mouser. Trago. And I'm a half-elf. <laughs> half Hmm. Well, half health Trago, we're about to have a fight. And I suggest you do not underestimate my current form. But trust me, I haven't given up much of my strength to take it. I am older than I look, and I am stronger than I look. I suggest you go all out and don't hold back on me. I can take it. And I'll give it back twofold. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Once the fun ends. She picks up the <laughs> bike. Are they ready? Did fight a dragon before. Let's hope I do better now. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Have it, eh? Roll initiative. Uh, actually, yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> and I think let me go on my this. Good roll. Good roll. Nice. Good start. And totally got her. It's okay. She has a one. Oh, we'll see. Uh, dice, 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 dice. It's just baiting her in. I didn't bring my. Dice box, so we'll have to do with this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, interesting. Trigger, you go first. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> they told you. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Okay. She said she was strong. She didn't say she was fast. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I am going to uh, cast. Shield of Faith on myself. So, uh, let me Spencil. take down one spell slot and put the concentration marker and Shield of Faith. Uh, works. So okay. That's my bonus action. And I'll go up to her. As you approach within 10 feet of her, she strikes as you with, at you with a bike. Mm -hmm. uh, She's fighting Arcos. Okay. This isn't a good start. She's warming up. Actually, wait a moment. That's a big modifier. Plus 34. 24 to hit. Misses. I'm 25. I have 23 plus 23 plus the other thing. Yes, all right. Which means you do approach. That was a low roll. That was a low roll. <laughs> I'm getting hit no matter what, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said bliss. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I guess I just parry her attack and go in for mine. Go for it. Uh... This uh, there and there. 22 hits? Question 22 mark? hits, yes. The armor is cool, but it's not as magical as yours. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to smite that. Smite that. Uh, first level. Okay. Taking down one. And next attack. Uh, 27 hits. And that goes. is my turn. No nope, second. That's my turn. All right. Uh, I am a moment. That would be fun. 
But let's hold on to it. It goes a little bit quicker than I expected. And your armor is good. Let's see how good. And she strikes twice at you with her pike. Oh dear. Am I ever gonna roll well? Uh, Alright, first one is a... I have no idea what this number is. A 23? I think. This is which true. misses. Uh, the second one, however, is a... 2034? Uh, well, <laughs> wait, can I... Wait, let me check something. Yeah, no way I'm doing anything with that. Uh, for 18 points of piercing damage, and as you jabs first, second one kind of like hits your armor, causing you to recoil. She twists the pike around and goes for one more. Bonk. Nineteen to hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... And Can't save. Yes, oh, or do Can't you need, save. or maybe you your modifier is high enough that you ought to succeed? I don't know. I have a ten. Constitution. Yeah, you ought to succeed. Yeah, you do. And um and 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 yeah. And she goes, huh? I think I've seen the tumor somewhere. It's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'll try and bonus section shove her down to the ground with my shield. Alright, go for it. Mm. Yeah, that roll. Eventually, I'm gonna roll above 10. <laughs> it's fine, you probably succeed. <laughs> I know that feeling. But she succeeds. Yeah. Because she's very strong. And I'll uh, strike twice. Yeah, your shields kind of clash, ringing loudly. I just strike twice. Uh, 25 hits. Gonna... Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna smite it. Go for it. Uh, uh, first level, again. There's a, there's a lizard dog in the stands. Okay. And the second strike. Oof, this one, she presses in the shield, causing you to miss your attack. It scrapes off the armor, but does nothing. At this point, you're basically like almost interlocked, like into melee, and your helmets are kind of almost pressed together, and... You see that just like your helmet is kind of like connected to your armor and has this really cool construction, hers also seems to have some sort of like moving parts. And she goes, well, I guess I shouldn't be holding back. She's gonna use her legendary action to swipe at your feet. I need to make a dexterity saving throw. Would this... Uh, help with the shield thing? It is like, not a spell. It doesn't. It I don't attack. think it needs to be a spell. I will post your shit. We'll see. Uh, it has a little effect that allows to meditate or take only half damage. Uh, no, it doesn't allow you to take only half no, damage. No, that's the second one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you aren't incapacitated, you can add your shield's oh, AC wait. bonus to the dexterity saving throw you make against a spell or other harmful effect that targets oh, only yes. you. yes. Then, yes, you can, but please roll first. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> nope. And oh, damn. You kind of you wash her pike, and you don't notice her tail whip around, grab your ankle, and pull. And this if her tail has almost the same strength and she has... As you go up and find yourself falling onto the ground, as you take oh wow double sixes, uh, twenty one point of bludgeoning damage. Roll me a concentration check, Wait, and you are knocked that's... prone. DC ten. 
Okay. Alright, you hold on your up. concentration, but please, you are not prone. Yeah. I'm... Okay. And you see her. Uh, yeah. Is it? Was it my turn or her turn? It was end of your turn. She used her legendary action. Now it's her turn. Okay. Which means she gets her legendary actions back, but because you're fighting one on one, she can use only one of them basically because. Strangely enough, the more creatures a dragon fights, the stronger it becomes. <laughs> okay. uh, she looks at you down below, and you see her like judging something. Nah, let's take it easy. And she goes. Ah! It is. All right. So. With advantage, her first two attacks are natural 19 and a 31 on the second one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's those, it's the weaker attacks. 13 to hit. Roll, no, don't roll. You're good. And 20 to hit. They both miss, I think. To hit or damage? Uh, but damage, 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 damage. Wait, what? I... 13, Thir 20 damage. Oh, yes, okay. sorry. I... Uh, and you don't need concentration checks because you can't fail this. Um, and then her bonus action attack, also with advantage is a natural 17, which is like 30-something, I'm not gonna calculate. This one is a longer bit of the spear, which means it hurts more. It hurts more! I rolled very high. 28 points of piercing damage. Gonna roll for content? Yes, here we need to roll DC 14. <laughs> Okay. All right, you're good. And Clean damage. Hey, you looking good down there? Shoots out a hand with a pike. It's your turn. Can I like use my movement to get sure, up with her? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I uh, get up. No longer prone. Yep. Uh, yeah, that kind of hurt though. And I kind of feel myself. So and did yours. Pour all, all of my lay on hands on myself. Aww. Uh, that's five. Wait. And seven plus nine equals sixteen. Okay, almost back to full. Uh, bonus action. What can I do? Cast the spell. <laughs> no, I'm concentrating on Shield of Faith. I know. Which isn't really helping out. Uh, I mean, it has helped you at first. It has already prevented two attacks. Two. <laughs> True. It's, a lot. it's just like my last couple attacks will. I finally rolled about fifteen. So. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there was advantage. There was a natural one in there that didn't happen. <laughs> I got the armor from the blind forest. That's my turn, I guess. Goes, huh. Dwarves made mine. And she kind of like moves backwards, like not five feet, but like a step back. Hmm. I wonder how strong you are. I mean, strong. You watch as her helmet goes, opens, showing her lower, lower half of the face. She opens her mouth. 
and releases a blasting wave of compressed air. I needed to make a strength saving throw. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, you watch as there is a 30 foot cone just like scored in the beach as sand and rocks and wood and all other floats and just gets smashed and thrown into the wall behind. You stick your spear into the ground and you hold fast. A helmet clicks back together. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, bonus action shove. Please work. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty niche world. Uh, Net 20! Now you were all good. I rolled higher than you. I mean, you saved on a very high strength saving throw, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh and then you miss twice. You're like, you step in, but you forgot the part where, because of her blast, the sand became displaced, not as you know, packed. And if you just falls in, your center of balance uh, shifts, and your first attack hits the shield, and your second one just strikes the sand. Hmm. Hmm. I put myself today. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder how similar we are. Let's find out. She takes a defensive pose and jumps backwards, moving out of your range. Oh, all that shit. Roll disadvantage. She took the dodge action. Uh, I don't think it uh, dodge helps. Wait, let me post it. Dodge disadvantage. No, dodge helps. Yes. Oh, right. Disengage doesn't help, right? Yes. Okay. You're a spear fighter. She's a pike fighter. She knows the tricks. She's stating you out. Mm. That hits. You poke her in the knee as she I'm tries to retreat. Can, can I smite on her? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anytime you do. And it's time you'd like it! Yeah, I'm gonna use a third spell. Oh, wait. Yeah, third spell. Go for it. Mm. Oh, Not I bad. forgot to roll for something. Alright. Uh, she ah, yelps, like, for a moment, like, limbs on one foot, then takes back the stance. Where was this a couple seconds ago? It is still... Uh, yeah, she took dodge action, she moved. It is your turn. Uh, try and see. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing for now, since I can't guarantee her position. So, bonus action, shove. You try to, but as you can't find your win footing, or you got more windows than you expect, she just pulls you off. If your trick doesn't work, you'll need to look for a new one. I am going to... that hits, right? 26 hits, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna smite that with the second spell. That's a good roll. And second attack. That 30 is not a crit? No, oh, that's not a crit. Uh, also gonna smite that. 
with the second. Let's go with the third. I do love the number 19, yeah. though, not with the third. Oh, yeah. That's the best one. Uh, 19, 19, 19. Yeah. Alright. She takes it, goes, Oh, somebody's finally warmed up. She's gonna use her legendary action uh, to try and swipe you again. Uh, make me a dexterity save. And then it's gonna be her turn. <sighs> and you come falling down again. And 19 points of bludgeoning damage. You're knocked prone again. She stands above you. You really need to watch your footing. Not putting out as much strength as you should be. I just need one good moment. Now let's hope you get it today. She is gonna aim like a fisherman and go thrice. Ooh, I think the first one is a miss. Uh, 22 is a miss. That oh, was a very low roll. Not a very. The other one, the second attack is a natural 19, which definitely hits. Uh, uh, 14 points of slashing damage. And her third strike is. Well, thankfully, not the natural one. A 32. This is a painful one. Unless I roll double ones. Uh, uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Yeah, yeah. She looks at you. Doesn't reach out her hand this time. And goes, Let's see if you learn. It's your turn. Stand up. Two action to turn. <laughs> <laughs> and I really want to use something. Stop! Do something! Okay, let's try and roll above a four this time. Yeah, I'll bonus action try and bash her. Uh... Oh, come on! <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I'm rolling as well. I also can roll natural one. Please don't. Please don't. Uh... Nope! She goes, apparently not. Nope. Can I get the one crit that I need? Okay, that's not a crit though. I'm gonna smite that anyway. With a third spell slot. One. Uh, with a second spell slot, sorry. 19, please. 20. Oh, even higher. <laughs> and second attack. Nineteen probably yes. misses. Yeah. She catches up with her spear, takes it low, like no. Twist your spear away, and I assume this is the end of your turn. Uh bonus action failed action and yeah, I'm not moving away from right. her. 
Huh? Yeah, no, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. In which case, she's gonna continue that movement and use her legendary action to make a weapon attack here. Natural 19. It's. Uh, as uh, she kind of like d deflects your spear with her weapon as you miss your last attack and strikes for your knees with a tail uh, kind of almost buckling your feet and dealing you 22 points of bludgeoning damage uh, I do need you to make a concentration check. You may fail it on the natural one. I did. It's oh, 20. okay. 23. All right. But you do not fail it. And then she checks how she's feeling. And goes for a quick barrage of strikes aiming at your legs. So, first two jabs. Uh, one is a natural one, this one gonna hit the sand. She kicks it up, and the second one is a 28. 28 at 25. If I add plus 3, she still hits. Okay, that hits. Uh, which makes it an 18 points of piercing damage. And as you're distracted by the sand, she twirls around. Ooh, and goes with a 22, which hits your shield loudly, powerfully, but without any penetration. Uh, good news, uh, just as you are, she is finally starting to sweat a little. Good news, good news. Indeed. Yes, it is your turn. One at 20, come on. I really want to use the freaking... Uh... Uh, solo fl solar flare, but I need her to not move. Uh, let me check for a second. I am going to use. Should I go for damage or healing? No, I'm going for damage. Uh. So I need one. Wait, I need. I'm trying to calculate how many provinces I'm going to need for this. I hope you're reading it correctly. I hope I am. If you're doing what I think you're doing, you know that it doesn't happen immediately. I know. I hope she's not... I don't know. She'll use this opportunity that I don't have it to try it. Uh, I am going to... Question. If I use multiple... There are multiple saving throws. Do I need to use an extra prominence for each and every one of them? Uh, what or exactly just are you talking about? There's the solar prominence ability where if I expend one prominence and use your spellcasting DC for that ability instead of the innate DC. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only for the ability, not for extra effects, right? Uh, what do you want to use? The uh, pin a creature. Uh... There's a DC 15 strength settings throw. Other than the DC 15 dexterity. So you want to use the solar flare and upgrade it to a pin? Up upgrade it to? 20. My spellcasting is... No, I'm saying you want to use solar flare and upgrade it to a pin. Yes? Uh, yeah. Uh, solar prominence reads. You can expand one prominence and use your spellcasting DC for that ability instead of the name DC, including for any additional saving throws caused by other upgrades. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So yeah. So you'll use... be using three prominences basically, and you are gonna be throwing it. 
Yes. So, uh, let me think. If I want to really... Is a restraint... Well, she has such interior resistance, but is a restraint a, a crit? No, it's advantage. And she can't advantage. move. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go for it. So that's one prominence for the spellcasting and two for the pit. So you see Trego not going five feet away from her, but like going a little bit backwards and then hurling his spear up into the sky. Let me take down three. And it just goes up and goes and disappears in the beam of light. Uh, I assume you're choosing the point five feet in front of you. Yes. All right. Uh, bonus action. Can cast if I don't have a weapon. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Sh so that's my turn. Okay. She goes. And just steps five feet to the side. And goes, what's Which that about? As to the left. To her left, to your right. There? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that all can about? I, can I use my reaction to move it? Uh, There's the sure. use one prominence yeah. as a reaction, but only until the start of your next turn. Yeah. So that's another prominence to move it. Well, uh, maybe I'll wait till. Do I need to wait till the end of the turn? I'll wait till her end of the turn before I do that. Um, and she. Gonna, she, gonna, gonna. What is she gonna do? You just disarmed yourself. Hmm, is she gonna act arrogant, confident? Uh... Alright, well, let's start with this. She's gonna attempt to strike you once. Natural 20. Might be going down here. Wait. Yeah, no, I'm trying to remember the rules. If I was trying to show you, I don't roll to hit. I roll an athletic check versus your... Thing. Yeah, my athletic. So the initial check. 20 was for her aesthetics check. So good luck. She wasn't trying to deal you damage. So make me an acrobatics on aesthetics check in return. 20. <laughs> she swipes your legs once again as you fall to the ground. And she picks up the pike like lower and just tries to hit you, not with a pointy bit, but with the like bludgeoning bit. A natural 17. Gonna be like 30 something. Uh, it's gonna be this one. So 17 points of bludgeoning damage on the first strike as she goes. You really better have a trick up your sleeve. Smack. Second attack. Natural 18. 30 something. Twenty-five points of damage on her well third and final attack. Otherwise, I'm really disappointed. She smacks you one more time. And also con save. Twenty-five yes. damage. I don't need to con save there. Twenty? Pretty good. That makes the end of her turn. Okay, so then uh Reaction, move it five feet with one more prominence. Mm -hmm. 
So, do you want to do the honors, or should I do the honors? I think you're better at description. Yeah. I will, I will, uh, do I have an opportunity to uh, stand up again before it happens, or it happens right uh, No, no, it happens at the start. Okay. So you all watch as Treg is basically between her legs, on the ground, covered in sand, as she's just beating him up with her spear, no longer treating it as a weapon, but just like as a training stick. And Treg is just like a mix of sand and dirt and sweat and salt water. And then you see it. <laughs> has a beam of light descends from the sky and strikes into her, lifting a cloud of snow of sand as she is supposed to make me a dexterity saving throw. DC 20. Uh, I mean, she's not terrible at it. Uh, nope, but she is gonna use her legendary resistance to succeed anyway. Good. As roll gets, damage, uh, <laughs> sand <laughs> scatters, and you watch her standing as Trigger's spear has left a scorch mark over her armor and like almost pierced her. That's a cool trick. So she needs to roll a strength saving throw uh, for one that. One second, give me a moment. Let me do damage first. So that's not 50, that's 49 points of damage. And she needs to make a strength saving throw. She's much better at this. Okay, well, not much. Better. Yeah, this is a 24. Hmm. So close. Yeah. Uh... Until your turn. I stand up. <laughs> uh, is taking Sun Warrior from her is uh, item action? Uh, no, it's on the ground. It's yeah, it's object interaction. Oh, so it's a free. Yes. Uh, okay. Take it. Try and now smack her on the ground, please. Can I roll something normal? Come on, not twenty. What are you doing? Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Oh. okay. That's a good shot. Okay. That's a good shot. Yep. Yep. Good. You used okay, it just... one moment. She was unbalanced from the falling spear. You swipe the feet from beneath her, causing her to finally go prone. And then two attacks. Please, please. R and Jesus. 24. I'm going to smite that uh... with a fifth level spell. Wait, I don't need a fifth level with a fourth level spell, but that's probably the maximum, right? Yeah. 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 Fourth level spell. For example, like... Oh come on! Oh, that's no way in. <laughs> yeah, and another hit with advantage. Twenty-seven. Also going to smite that with a fourth level spell. Uh, minus twenty. Seven damage. Uh, that's, that's some really good base good roll, damage. Yeah. Yo. Oh come on! <laughs> All right. You rolled more with level twos. Anything else? Those are all my tricks <laughs> for now. She lying down on her elbows, kind of like trying to. Not so much dodge because she's in no position, but like a block your strikes to lower their damage. She goes, nice. Make me dexterity saving throw, please. Okay, 20 and I might be able to add. Let me just read it. You can add your shield's AC bonus to a dexterity saving throw. Yes, so it doesn't even cost me a reaction, but... So it's 23. Nope. Too late, you notice, as distracting you with clever words, her tail once again whips around your leg. Boom! Damn, 23 is a fail, holy shit. You're not fighting a dragon. You're not fighting a young dragon. You're not fighting an adult dragon. <laughs> You're fighting at 12 only points of bludgeoning damage to you. As you are knocked prone. 12. Did I say 12? Yes. Yeah. 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 Y
just was. And she, like, you know, does this rock back, stand up. Whew. Well, this was the most fun I had in a long, long time. And picks up the weapon again. I just can't catch my breath with you. Good for you. Stab. Ooh, this might be a miss. Uh, oh, I'm such an idiot. 25 to hit. Uh, I'm going to use a reaction uh, to uh, parry that with a feather. Uh, I'm such a fucking idiot. Yep, yep, you are. Yep, you are. I know what I'm you're thinking idiot. about. <laughs> Oh my god. Read your shit. Yes, yes, next time. I don't give you overpower shit for no reason. <laughs> Alright, well. I'm such a fucking idiot. This is her first strike, you managed to block. Her second one is a 26. Uh, yeah, I can't use anymore. Yeah, it's only reaction. So that's 19 points of uh, piercing damage. Yes, piercing damage. And her third strike is a natural 18, which makes it a lot of damage. Oh, I mean, a lot to hit. And actually, not that much damage. 13 points of damage. I go down to zero, but I pop back up because of this. 2 1. Nice. So she, like, kind of goes plink with the tip of the spear. At your helmet, sending a concussive blast, and then you go, huh? Your turn. <laughs> uh, she's not. I wrong. get out. Let me fix that. Uh, did you roll? Did you need to roll concentration checks? No, it was low damage, right? Okay, yeah, no mind. Oh, oh fuck! Yeah. Wrong, wrong. Uh, sorry, wrong. Yeah. I get up. For the love of God, mm. athletics. Gotta try and dash her. <laughs> Twenty-two. Yep. Yep, I she's down. down. She's down. Good. She laughs as she goes down, but she's down. <laughs> oh, I'm in danger. Yes! <laughs> oh my God! Smiting that shit so hard. Actually, come on, good rolls, good rolls. Come on, buddy. Minus 18. Actual. Minus 17. Yeah, I'm using a fourth, but that's the maximum. Mm -hmm. that's the okay. Minus uh, 13. I have another attack. Alright. Alright. Okay, that's not a crit, but I am going to smite that too. With my 5th level spell slot. Yes. That's, right. that's more like it. You <laughs> lift your spirit is still glowing with that strike from above and you smack her powerfully into the shield. Sending a crack into it, and you hear a crack of bone as you pummel her into the sand. And then you lift your spear and do that again. And as you do it for the second time, the air around your spear condenses, and your spear comes from a close an inch from her arm. She goes. Did it. Damn it! Wants the dragon. It's okay. <sighs> yeah, sure. Well, I think that means I, you won. I give her a hand to help her up. <laughs> she picks your hand, gets up, goes, moves a bit to the side, turns to the sea, and goes. And releases a long line of lightning that scorches the sand, turning it into glass and 
causing the sea to evaporate and goes ah. Yeah, I wish I could do this like 20 seconds ago Yeah, you almost got me there Well Yeah, I'll need like fucking duel. an hour before I take on the next one of you <laughs> I need a day Also, I might need to get my better shield where did you get the shield from? That's pretty cool. That's from the king of Aldana. Huh. Alright. And apparently I could have done this a lot easier if I wasn't so stupid. <laughs> I mean... I'm not gonna say I didn't attack stupid. But... That's the whole point well, here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well fought. Now you know next time you fight a dragon. Fucking this, this, this! <laughs> <laughs> I have seven feathers! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, make, buddy. Make, make, make a, a, a dual shield, a, a, a sheet where you write down the things that you have to remember and... <laughs> Line this with with LEDs pointing at this. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, I can use my reaction to parry one of her attacks. Fuck that! I can. I go prone. <laughs> Man, the, these kind of duels make you so stupid when you're yeah, in the moment really uh, and you have this immense pressure. You forget your shit. It's, yep. uh, don't worry about it. Yep. It happens. Yep. Yeah, it happens. I, I, I yeah, has I experienced this. Be right back. I gotta go pee. <laughs> She holds her helmet, revealing the scaled to see more of... That's not a dragonborn, something similar, but not a dragonborn. Waves. This was fun! Anybody else want to have a go? Always up for that when you're ready for it. Ah, thought so. Uh, that just make me, I don't know, an inside check? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. You're good at these. Um, actually, make me an aesthetics check. <laughs> Quietly. You're not gonna tell anybody, maybe. She will hold you back. Yeah. Had a feeling. Not too much. I mean, like, Trekker yeah. did a good job. But she was I mean, holding Yeah, Solar didn't, she didn't take a lot of attacks she could have, so yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I mean, that was pretty cool. Um, well, what do we do now? Maybe a small debate up next. We already have the audience assembled, so we might as well. Or do we need everyone to vote? Uh, vote on. I think the that the way it was described is uh, that um, for each uh, yes. point of debate, yes. there would be a vote. Let us take. Uh... An hour's intermission, have your friend uh, pushed Sharper. up a little bit. She seems winded. Uh, an understatement. Oh. Yeah, he's he's not what he, want, what he used to be. You have <laughs> done everything I promised my kin you would do, and even some things you haven't told me. I... I wouldn't advise you to fight any of the green dragons on your own, but if need arises, you will do a good job. <laughs> yeah. Rogardian is not the oldest of us, but she's a powerful warrior. I 
I, I'm trying to think if I if the healing from Solar Flare would be more beneficial than the damage, because she, she would sure uh, have legendary resistance. Eh. Meh. Nah, I don't know. Hard to say. Um, But yeah, that's all the first time I did that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not an easy skill an to easy hit. Skill to hit. Yeah. yeah. I need someone to grapple or something. Yeah. But, I mean, you do have to use it at least once before your character dies, so I'm glad you got to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, if she wasn't in her dragon form, there would have been a much larger area to hit. True, it's easier to hit bigger things. Yeah. With it. I mean, if Mother Dragon comes and she's gonna be the size of, I don't know, a building, there's gonna be this one thing you're gonna be happy about. <laughs> yeah. The bigger they are, the easier to hit. <laughs> yes! I can finally hit it! <laughs> Alright, so in that case, um, let's say uh, you guys, I don't know, pass track the decanter of endless water, clean out his armor from all the sand that's in it, and once, like, you finish the fighting and you go, wow, I didn't even notice how much sand got into my armor after that blast, and maybe that was the reason I wasn't quite as mobile as I wanted to be. Also, mm -hmm. I really should watch my, uh, my footwork, that was embarrassing. All the falls, uh, but you take a short rest, so you are welcome to recover whatever shit you would like to recover. Uh, yeah, I'll use that. <laughs> it's time to reattune to the weapon of warning. There's like, yeah, there's a meme, Russia. You have a dog? Didn't you Are see you it? I saw the cat, I didn't know you have a dog. It's not mine, it's parents' dog. Oh, I know that meme, yes. Called hopelessness, despair, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so you take a short rest and Trago recovers while Roger Vian kind of like chills out on the rocks. Gets out of her armor, gets the shield off. Um, actually, Question. Yeah. And it's probably important because no, time is of the essence. We fought at 10 a.m., right? Uh, you fought, no. Uh, you fought afternoon. Shit. Yeah. Because okay. so uh, 10 a.m. was you were at the mountains and then you took a flower trip down to the beach and then you had a fight. So, yeah, not today. Mm -hmm. No. Not so today. For the that move was four days worth of promises. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, you had to protect your honor and pride. There honor it goes, I guess. It. <laughs> so this is I, mean, gonna... I, can't, I can't lose in the Lizardo swim. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... And at the end of the hour, or more like an hour and a little bit more, you hear the heavy beating of wings as... Uh, as Orgosaur arrives and lands heavily right on top of Leos. <laughs> and Rogardian, having taken her short rest, tears off the armor and transforms back into her normal form and goes lies on actually she's gonna go lie on the rock over there put her tail in the water and just chill she deserves it um the map is too small for the dragons yeah. uh Argentia goes all right after this rest, which I'm sure I have recovered your strength sufficiently, how about you fight all of us together? 
Bring it. <laughs> I am joking. I am joking. So, you wanted to test of eloquence, I understand? Sure, yeah. And you Sounds would right. be the champion. I am. I am the lucky participant, yes. Hmm. Well, on our side, me, 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 me. Yes, Leighton will be your opponent. Yes. He does seem to be the smallest and the youngest of all of them. Though, in dragon terms, set might be a questionable number. Uh, and well, he's only like you. 100 times older than yeah, I am. So and that will fine. be with you in a second. I'm all right. Yeah. I'll be right back as well. I need some food. That's the amount of damage I did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That can kill four Tregos. <laughs> That's a good amount of damage, yeah. Those 19, 19, 19, 20. Good number. Yeah. Actually, it kills 2.8 Tregos. Oh well. <laughs> Granted, most of them wouldn't hit Trego, actually. <laughs> I didn't. I, sometimes no, I hit her, but she had a, a bit more AC than what I have. She had a twenty. Yeah, but you would also only have to look. Um, okay, not base level, I guess. Yeah, I guess there would be a couple more misses in there. Check how many. That still hits. That's one. That's... Yeah. And about the spell slots, I have one from fifth, third, second, and one, and zero at four. So I have four spell slots. I've like smite on every single chance I could. Yeah. I um, mean, there's, that's there's what like you do. Two, there's like two hits in there that um, fall in the range, yeah. but that would auto miss, and then there's another two you could parry once. So. I think it's four hits less, yeah. Versus you with the same numbers. That was oh, so close, I'm still shaking. Oh, no. I really don't advise you to start crunching numbers on this because... Yeah. I mean, it's just fun to see it's how much damage you did. How much damage you did. <laughs> you know, when you uh, play WoW when you have the DPS meters. If you did have Holy Weapon on, that would have been... True. Yes, and she could have used the lighting brass, and she could have used the legendary action every round. Yep, true, true. And she could have used her dragon form and flown 120 feet in the air and see if we can catch her. Yeah. It's not about she could she could probably win I don't for know, sure. So I'm, I'm just trying to optimize my next duel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, Trigger, get on the beach. And uh, I guess as uh, Arles climbs down onto the beach, Linton sure. also like glides, flights over from the rock. And uh, you see that he has this kind of um, uh, box in his hand uh, where like one side of it seems to be like detachable it he, he kind of puts it under the ground between of you all right all right so 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 do you remember the rules um three topics we can either choose or we can choose from uh, yeah. Box. yeah 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 we, i'm definitely for the box oh box does the that. best shit Excellent. We do have to play a game to decide which one of us gets to go first, because that person gets to decide which side to argue, if there is a side, or just go first, that sometimes has an advantage, sometimes doesn't. Okay, so, okay. Uh, you know a game you want to do? How about we leave it up to chance too? We flip a coin? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You got a coin? 
uh, yeah, I think I have something somewhere. All right. Into the bag of holding and get out some gold coin. What do you want? Heads or tails? Always tails. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, one is heads, two is tails. You go first. Yes. Actually, I'm not sure about it. All right. Let's see what the box gives us. Roll me the 20, please. As he walks up to the box and presses something on it with a claw, and he hears the box go and release a metallic plate, and he can like leans and starts reading what's on it. All right, plate number five. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is a big topic recently. Uh, what is better? Going out or library and chill? Okay, you get to pick the side, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a... Oh man, this is a big choice. Uh... You know what? Alright, yeah, let's go. Okay, so, I think that going out is better. Two reasons. One, if you sit at home and chill, sure, you can get a good conversation partner, but if you go out, you can choose a lot more conversation partners. You can, want you can choose one, you want you can choose two, you want you can choose a town. And two, going out, you can still go out to a library. Eh? I'm not sure that's still uh, that's still in the spirit of the same side. I feel like going out might uh, allude to something different than going out to a library. But um, I'll leave that up for everyone else to decide. I'd argue that um, while I'm sure it's really fun in the short term to go out and have fun and see lots of different people, I feel like the true depth of our experience usually comes from the more intimate cases. And while you might meet a lot more people while you're going out, I feel like your chances of an intimate conversation with someone you know and like and spend time with at the library is just a lot higher. Plus, if you're at the library, I sort of presume you enjoy spending your time there, you enjoy delving deeper and deeper into topics that interest you and maybe the other side of the conversation. And isn't that what it's all about? Delving to the depths of everything to find out where creatures have a common ground rather than the hedonistic short-term pleasure that going out might bring? Well, what you say, people? I think for the benefit of this, and considering there without Jesse, only three of you, I'm not gonna roleplay dragons for this. Let's have the three of you vote. I have my biases, though. I mean, you better have your bias towards me as a dragon, not me as a DM. No, I'm talking about the subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, look, you're not supposed to be objective. Either right, somebody but... persuaded you or they didn't. I think try to not do it not from a, pl uh, from a PC perspective, yeah. but just from what the f uh, what you think yourself is probably the better idea. Like, but mm. no, but you're supposed to judge who. Uh, sorry, not the from a the not better. from a character perspective. Yeah because you're also deciding for the dragons. Right. Not just for yourselves. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably vote our list that I, I said Trey was writing it down to be romantic with Melora. <laughs> Go to the library. Got it. Well, it certainly beats a fish market. <laughs> yeah, it certainly beats a fish market. <laughs> Oh? Well, I've always been a social guy. So I unfortunately have to vote for the dragon. One, one! 
Oh, w w uh, um. I feel yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, I always grew up more of a at home study study nerd, so to go with that one. I'm gonna say you should tr try to not judge the topic, but what yeah. people said on the topic. Who can who more convinced you? Who brought the better point? I'm saying if if I'm gonna if I'm gonna study, I'd rather do it at home than the library. Library and chill, I think, is not really study. Well, it's a different kind of studying. I don't think uh, that kind of study really flies in libraries, to be honest. But, uh, as long as you're quiet? I guess. There's an awkward pause in the air. He's All great. right! Box again? Yeah. All right. Do I start this time? Or is it you that starts every time? Eh, uh, let's take sides. Turns. Makes sense. Alright. Wanna press the box this time? Yeah. Let's go. Front in. Actually, let me... Uh, let me cross out the one that we did already. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah, that's that, that's another question that all the Dragonborn use uh, talking about recently. Um, Would you rather be a swashbuckler rogue or a shadow monk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ancient question. Swashbucklers versus shadow monks. I'm gonna take the swashbuckler. Man, this challenge looks a lot tougher than mine. <laughs> Quick question out of character Can I argue mechanics too? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Treat this as a pirate versus ninja question. Excellent. Oh, the, the, this is even uh, better. Wait, who's the pirate? The swashbuckler? I guess the shadow monk must be the pirate. Yes. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um. Shadow monk. He might be on a boat. So you just made the point about how going out truly is uh, where you can make the most kinds of different experiences. And I feel like that's what the swashbuckler rogue leans towards, right? It's um, someone who goes out, who goes on adventures, who meets a lot of different kinds of people, has a lot of different kinds of adventures, can really drink from every cup the world has to offer. They don't just like... Uh, sit in a shadowy corner and sulk because uh, that's what's in fashion right now. They do what's after their own, their, own, their own heart and they have fun and maybe sometimes uh, they hurt other people while doing it but um, I think most of the time they are pure of heart in what they want and at least they're living a life they can enjoy to the fullest when they aren't on a, in a storm on the sea or something like that. Okay, 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 okay. That's a good point. That's a good point. I hear that. And the you this. You say that these rogues are going on an adventure. You hear that they're going on an adventure. Who do you hear that from? From the rogues. Now, have you ever heard about the famous Shadow Monk? <laughs> No, because that's where the actual adventure happened. Not in the tavern with a tanker shouting and bragging about your so-called it totally happened, I made the rope out of turtle hair. But no, you, as the one who supports the country, nay the world, nobody knows about your achievements. Because they are so that important. As a shadow. You find and you remove the corruption, the evil, the worst that this world has to give. And you don't get any rewards, but the knowledge through your actions you make this world a better place. 
Also, teleportation is real cool. I rest my case. Only, right? It's only one round each, or can I reply? Nope. <laughs> okay. It can, so, in no, summary, I, I, uh, like, Swashbuckler gets to go on adventures, and Shadow Monk gets to do the hard work. The real work. <laughs> the real work, The, the yeah. meaningful work. Saving the world when you can't see. I gotta, okay, I gotta say, uh, Arliss had me at the first half, not gonna lie, but yeah. And he then <laughs> said, even if, even if they sometimes hurt other people, and I'm like, oh no, you lost me. And then, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go with the dragon on this one. <laughs> yeah, I have to side with the dragon too. I'm gonna side with Arliss. Alright. Well, that still means the dragon wins. So, 1-1. One, one. It's 2-3, or what was it? Uh, best of 5. So, oh, up oh, to 3. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I decided not to go too high. Yeah. That we that's, could take a bit a too much idea. time. Yeah. But so... it's the best time. Alright! My time to press the box! Crack! Oh, they're all already 2. <laughs> already... Oh, sorry. sorry. You can oh. roll again and I'll take this next. Oh! Time. Oh! This is gonna be a really touchy topic. Like, people have gone to war about this. I just want to warn everybody that this is just a debate. This is a what if situation. Both sides are right and they're respected. Okay, here's the question Are cats better than dogs? <laughs> oh no! No! No, I don't wanna argue for dogs. <laughs> no. As tell him, but as our list, you don't know. Okay. All right. So which side are you picking? I was sure you're gonna say, do cats have brains or something? Like that. <laughs> do humans have brains? All right, ladies and gentlemen. As this is a serious topic, perhaps most serious, and we have discussed so far, nay, that we may discuss today at all. I would like to begin by deconstructing the question. Are cats better than dogs? Now we know what cats are, we know what dogs are. They are similar, both have four paws, both have scales. But <laughs> they couldn't be any more different. The crux of the problem lies in the word better. What does the word better mean? As a definition, the better means more desirable, more satisfactory, or more effective. And while two of those words are very subjective, one is not effective. Compare the effectiveness of a dog versus a cat. Both are used for hunting, but the dog its hunting range differs from the smallest of creatures to large beasts, while a cat is limited by its nature and its size. Cats are fickle, while the dogs are loyal and attentive. They are quicker, better, and more effective at retaining commands and following them. And let's admit it. A cat dog actually follows command. A cat will consider whether it will even pay attention to you. That doesn't sound like effectiveness. And last but not least, if I have mentioned size, a bigger dog means bigger pets. If you get a dog, you get more pet for your square inch. I am finished. Excellent. First of all, I would like, like to thank you for your part. It was a very interesting perspective. The question is, though, do we really only want to define better in the sense of what is more effective? Because there is a two out of three majority there, and there is also a thing where effectiveness can't simply be measured in 
things that are easy to pin down, but there are also a lot of other things where effectiveness comes into play, be it how these creatures touch you in your heart, and how they affect you in general. And here I would like to make a case for the cats as, I think, what most sentient creatures strive towards. I think cats sort of really personify this ideal of a creature that stands above all. A creature that does not give a single fuck about whatever else anyone is doing. They are living the dream. Every other sentient creature has kept them as a pet, but we all know that's not really the way it works. They aren't providing us with much. They do what they want. We feed them, they're happy. We don't feed them, they can get it themselves. They sleep 20 hours a day. They just, you know, while we all have to sort of fulfill these things that are put on our daily lives, like, yes, we need to work to make a living, or we need to save this plane from the next dire quest that is upon it, the cat just does what Whatever it's like, whatever it likes, and it just procrastinates away everything to the next day. You know, if you don't feel like doing it, don't do it. And I think that is what is at the heart of why these creatures are held so dear, because we envy them. We wish in our next life we could be reborn as a cat, a cat who has to do nothing, who can just do whatever they want and please. Also, I think there's a different aspect in there where it's not always easy to love those who give their love as freely as dogs do. And there are things worth fighting for, like our plane or the love of cats, which is not as unconditional as that of dogs. You really have to work for it, for this creature to even slightly consider you something it might enjoy from time to time. I rest my case. Oh, there is a growing murmur in the stands as people seem to be debating amongst each other and you see cliques forming as cat lovers group together and the dog lovers stand against them and shout. Oh, everything is happening is draconic so you have no idea what's going on. I do. Okay, <laughs> you do. <clears throat> No? Arliss. Dragon. Okay, so this is hard because the dragon made good points. And as a for a past soldier with effectiveness and all that, that makes good points. That's, yeah, that's what you right. But then Arliss came and gave points about, you know, doing whatever it wants. And that kind of resembles with the Oath of Ancients of, you know, delight, enjoy song, be the light, uh, enjoy the light. But the cat doesn't spread light. And I'm like, if in Tregos, I'm like, oh, wait, that's that's a big thing. Like, if yeah, dogs do spread maybe you know, joy to their birth. So, I don't know. You are, I... you are only thinking about your perspective and not what was said. He didn't say anything about spreading joy. I, but I'm thinking it's as Trego. <laughs> hey, when they did that and voted for you in the first round, I said quietly. That's, fair. That's a fair point, yeah. That's a very fair point. Uh... We are fantasy debating. How more nerdy can we get? <laughs> yeah, but to be... <laughs> To be, like, honest, and also Dan has an upper hand here because he got to, like, uh, uh, read all the points and then, like, write down all of his points. So, yeah, the uh, the dragon wins, I think, at this one. No way he did that. He did that. I prepared the question the and that's yeah. all. Oh, you didn't uh, prepare the, the points? No! I wasn't sure they're gonna come in handy. There are a lot of them. I have a humongous list. And I was never sure which side I'm gonna argue, so I was like... Dude, I gotta say, you did a really good job this round. Because it seemed like you, like, prepared really good for this one. 
So yeah, the dragon gets it. Oh, don't listen to me. I love you more. No, how he love me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming now. He heard you. Uncle, come here. Come here. <sighs> See, that's what I said. A dog would have come. He's considering yeah. whether he will follow my command. And without yes. a treat in my hand, he will not. But do you want him to just obey you and not no. be himself? No. Fuck dogs. They're too clingy. <laughs> Dude! That's so great. I have a dog with a cat personality. <sighs> That's a cat with a dog personality. Alright. Well, it's 2 1 for Dragon. We're going into a. Do you want to roll this time? Uh, yeah, sure. Let me roll. Uh, oh, nope. Because I might have to roll anyway, because we're getting to the point where there's a chance I'm gonna hit. Yeah. Yep. One more time. Seven. All right. Oh, this one is interesting. I'm not sure, in hindsight, if it is correct to add this to the box. But let's just pretend that the box gathers its questions not just from the Dragon World, but from all the multiverse. That's why it knows about this question. All right, all right. Um, why students should receive their letter from Thierry Bournier? <laughs> Sorry again. Letters. What? Their Hogwarts letter. Why students should receive their acceptance letter from Thierry Bournier? I don't know. Why? Like. Um. You it says here the that Tourist Bournier is a wizard school in the mortal realm. No, I know that, but like, once I you didn't. try and apply... Out of character, okay? When you apply to a college or whatever, they send you a letter whether you've been accepted or not. So I don't... This I don't is get different. It. They choose you. Oh, oh man. Okay, you know, I'll the argument. Yeah, okay. Well... I still don't you go first this time. I did dogs last time. Yeah, you did. You just rolled for him. I'm, I'm sorry, like, why should they receive it? Are there two sides here? I guess, yeah. I don't know. I don't make the questions. I think it's like if they got accepted or not. Why they should be accepted. Can you read the question? Why students should receive their letter from Turi Bournier? Like, can they receive it from the mail post? Like, what? <laughs> no, just why should they receive it? Okay. So what I qualifies think, them? Yes, I think we have a lot of different opportunities here to go into diverse possibilities. And that one um, that we could start with is the obvious need for mages in the country. So... Um, oh, it's a magic school. Yes, it's a magic school, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I think I have a little bit of an advantage here, um, but I don't know too much either. So, um, so I think it's um, important for the country to have um, people who sort of delve into these matters and further uh, sentient experience and um, how we sort of um, look at the world by delving into the arcane and taking a closer look. But that is, I think, the less interesting perspective when we compare it to why should these kids actually receive it, regardless of who they are and where they come from. I feel like, and that is the current system at Torres Ebonia right now, I think, that it gravely favors uh, the rich and the mighty. It because does. even oh if they God, aren't quite as clever, as some of, of the other kids, their connections will still always get them into that school if they just wish for it, and they aren't entirely stupid. On the other hand, I don't know jack shit about the school, so I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. Um, on the other hand, there are a lot of kids all along the countryside who are certainly clever enough who could use this opportunity, who could rise above where they are standing right now, 
rise above the lot that was given to them in this life and from there really take this opportunity by the roots and make something out of their life, be judged by what they do and what they bring to the table instead of anything else. Just their pure effort. Which is why I think it would be nice if Tourist Ebonia opened up their services. And sent letters to everyone who sort of qualifies. <laughs> that was a really interesting point. Well, it would be hard for me to follow up on my um, fellow debater. And the masterful debater here he is. Coming. <laughs> Especially considering that last time I was in your world, there was no Judy Sabonia. That's cool. But my mother always told me that inside every little dragon, there's an ability for magic. This innate spark of spellcasting. And you just never know when it's gonna light up into a beautiful flame. Or not flay for somebody. Somebody's eyes or lightning. It's mostly fire for me. But the thing is that yes, they should. Because this is inside all of us. Some find their innate spell casting when they're just 50 years old. Some not before they cross their third century. But the best part about it is finding what exactly you have inside of you. It is like a mystery box. Never know what spells are gonna be there. <laughs> and as somebody who has occasionally scribed on a few places I shouldn't have scribed, I really wish there was somebody to teach me. Some fellow dragons subscribe together with after lessons. So I say it's for the sake of every dragon child's imagination and dream and security of those around them who want to be protected from random fireballs. Yes. All little dragons should go to magic school. And big dragons. Yeah, you get it? You get the point? Magic schools? It's a little different on our side. Not everyone has a spark. Really? Do you not have it? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not everybody. <laughs> I'm the rare exception. Well, yeah, to... say again. This goes to Arliss. 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 I thought the, I thought the dragon. Well, the dragon does have a disadvantage here, but yeah, I, Arliss, was I still need to hear yeah. Arliss as well. <laughs> I'm gonna go with dragon just because I, 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 I said he made some good points. It's fun. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is what's hard. I'm like, how the dragon argues this? <laughs> All the other dragons were like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, roll for the next one. As we come to the rubber match, and I really hope we get number one or number twenty. We can, we, we can also choose number one. No, that would be too boring. No. Okay, sixteen then. Ah. <sighs> This is another really, really serious, debatable, like, community-breaking question. Alright. 
The last magic question of the day. Chocolate chip cookies versus raisin cookies. Is this even a discussion? <laughs> <laughs> well, dragon goes first. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I know that not everybody agrees with my position. My little sister certainly does. Does not. I mean. However, I must address my previous statement about dogs and efficiency. Sorry. As always, every day, I shall vote for raising cookies. As a respectable and responsible dragon, I watch my cookie intake. But I want more cookie. And you can eat more raisin cookies than you can eat chocolate cookies. Because if you eat too many chocolate cookies, you're just not gonna get into your dragon armor. And that's expensive to remake. Chocolate melts and leaves dirty spots on your claws and on your snout. And little sisters are really good at noticing that. And last but not least, if your mother asks you if you're eating your fruits and vegetables, raisins are fruit. Also, chocolate kills dogs. Chocolate is bad. It also kills cats. So, like, I win on both sides of the argument. <laughs> There's like a low murmur of yeah, but going through the crowd. Right, your turn. I think there is something to be said for living healthy, but uh, there are multiple kinds of healthy living. One of them is um, your physical fitness, and the other one is whatever makes you happy, whatever brings you the most joy in life. But the most joy in life you can get out of food is out of the most unhealthy foods in the right amounts. Be that a chocolate chip cookie or something extremely salty that you love over everything, I feel like they are more or less the height of human and dragon culinary experience. And while it's nice to be able to eat a little more or to not have to worry if your cat or dog is going at your raisin chip cookie stash. I still feel like it's not that hard to avoid your dog not eating your chocolate chip cookies. It's really easy to just store them somewhere. They can't get up many places. They don't really have anything to open it with. And it's just so much better. I don't think they can even deny it. It's just... You will always be stuck at a 8 or 7 out of 10 with raisin chip cookies. But if we're talking about chocolate chip, you know that it's gonna scratch that certain itch that nothing else other than chocolate can really scratch. If you just imagine a chocolate chip cookie right now, does it not like bring a little saliva to your mouth? Do you not want to taste a nice, warm, fresh out of the oven chocolate chip cookie right now? Can you say the same? To the same intensity about the raisin chip cookie? I don't think so. If we're being real, it's always gonna be a chocolate chip cookie. I go, I rest my case. Well, I'd like to hear the balls. Okay. Also, so Aris is out of the campaign. I would say it was out of campaign. That's it. That's it. I could tolerate the cat versus dog argument, but nope. After the cookie argument, he's out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Milk. <laughs> All right. I'll go last. Go I wrote the points here, and I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision. <laughs> Arliss. I mean, the dragon gave me a handicap. He picked raisin cookies when he went first. Yeah. yeah. That was a tough one. 
he's a vampire. <laughs> His face is <are> strange. <laughs> it's not blood. Blood in cookies. <laughs> blood cheap cookies. <laughs> You know, I, I, beforehand I was really expecting this to be serious topics. And now I'm sort of glad that Dude. it wasn't, but it's also sad. If you drink the blood of a person that ate a chocolate chip cookie, his blood sugar I will be through the roof <laughs> instead of a raisin one. Something about that I meant to post, and I forgot. I'll do it later. Um... I'm gonna have to go with Dragon. He didn't mention milk. He mentioned milk and cookies. He did. Uh, no cookies. So, Dragon made the following arguments. He said it's uh, better in calories, like if you try and maintain calories, which isn't really true because you can make sugarless chocolate chip cookies, but Trigger doesn't know that. Uh, they're less of a mess, which is true to a point. They both crumble still. Uh, you can deceive your mom. That's a negative for Trego. And it kills <laughs> cats, also a negative. Uh, true. And then Arliss talked about the spirit and mental health of eating a good chocolate chip cookie, which is good in Trego's book because it's the light. Uh, it, it, and he also dismantled the argument of the dragon where it kills c uh, cats and dogs by just storing them correctly. And then he uh, appealed to the audience by making everyone drool. So this goes to Arliss. Uh, you still out of the pain. Okay, that's good. <sighs> oh, thank you for picking the handicap option. I didn't have any better ideas than you. What? I like crazy cookies more. For real? Yeah. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. I like this both. This is new grounds for me. I've you know, like, someone who likes new, like, better. another argument I didn't mention. Somebody made a batch of cookies. Some raisin, some cookie chip. You might snatch a single cookie, a chocolate chip cookie. Easy. Oh, you get all of that. Feels counterproductive oh, as an argument. Like yeah. <sighs> all right. <clears throat> well, I have to admit, I think the box was a bit biased. There wasn't a single question about dragons. But, well, let's see what else it has. Give me a question. Oh, this was a good one. Question number one. Should everyone on the material plane get three wishes at the same time? Hell no. I'm gonna go with hard <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, hell, hell no. Hell fucking no. Okay, question number three. What the fuck is with the food questions? Pizza in a square is better than pizza in a triangle. Tri Who eats pizza in a triangle? What? Who eats pizza in a square? Oh, you mean... Okay, no, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, meant, I meant the big shape, not the individual piece. <laughs> Alright, right. Question number four. 15 minutes of fame or staying behind the scenes? know what I'd pick. Uh, that's a, an actual debate, though. That is an actual... Yeah, yeah that is an actual debate. No, not for me. No, but in general it is. Uh, Everyone has no, their fame, bitches. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just 15 minutes. Uh, oh, this it is an important on one. For, for what you get those 15 minutes. If it's for shitting yourself in a public place, <laughs> that's not a good 15 minutes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you better shoot yourself behind a curtain. Or sitting uh, behind the scenes with a box of laxatives that you gave to the guy who's getting his 15 minutes of shape. You're watching his career ball. All right, question number six that was added here exclusively for Dragon Melora. Does age really matter in a relationship? To a certain degree. I mean, you can't... I, I hope no one says no. Yeah, it's like... To start, and you at least have to include, like, the hashtag pedophilia excluded exactly. option in there right. beforehand. Yeah. If, if pedophilia is off off the topic, right, then, like... It's still, I still say, uh, yes. It's still, it's still weird, like, a 70-year-old going out with a 20-year-old. That's pretty weird. 
No, I think it's sexy. <laughs> Sure. But it is a debate. You have to take off the pedophilia oh, to make it an actual debate. Oh. Well, you yes, you should take it off, but you don't have to. You don't have to <laughs> cancel the debate, but I, uh... this is yeah, you, just, you just won't make any friends. <laughs> no, 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 that's how you'll get your. A, a gentle reminder: we're still in the fantasy world. The age of marriage is a lot lower. You know, something like that. <sighs> Still, Treg is 50. Treg was 50, but Melora is 20 something. Yep. I hope. Yep. Ow. Uh, all right. Uh, I was this one is a boring one. What's important? Strengths or brains? Um, this one is fun. Would you rather be the hero or the sidekick? Hmm. That is a good debate. Well, I definitely wouldn't want to be Batman's sidekick. How many Robins have there been? Four? I feel like this is... Just, How this many is of them have turned into Jokers? More. <laughs> but this feels like the chocolate chip, uh, chip versus raisin yeah. debate again. <laughs> Where it's just the, the thing that can make more logical sense versus the height of human experience. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you be best buds with your boss? That's you can, debate. you should. <laughs> should, you, should you be? Or can, can you? you? <laughs> oh, can you, definitely. Can you is a debate. No, can, yes. Should? Hmm. Oh. This one Aris would like. Should creatures eat to live or live to eat? Oh, that's a, but that has to do with the chocolate chip cookie again. I mean, it's kinda. They have said there's a lot of food questions in here. <laughs> you know, when you have to remove all the social media debate questions, you have a lot of food questions left over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, this one was stupid. I know why I left it. Are school uniforms even necessary? And that would have been fun to discuss with a dragon, yes? Yeah. yeah <laughs> this one would have been really fun to discuss. I have once no idea why I missed it. Uh, is social media just making it easier for people to stalk others? I mean, is, is there yes. a question? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is there, there's no no option, right? I mean, for us your... people who don't really like social media, I guess there's no discussion, but... Yeah, there's no I mean, discussion. I feel like it's objectively just not a discussion. Yes, <clears throat> it does make it easier to stalk people. Right? As it long is... as they are on social yeah, media. Yeah, of course, yeah. Exactly. But just in general, overall, people summarized. Actually, I, actually, it you don't even need to be on social media because yeah. other people might upload pictures of you. Yeah, I've got a profile. Still, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not a. Or if you're like a public figure. This one was fun. Why fish make the ultimate pets? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. This one is good. This is one that uh, Leighton was waiting for. Who are likely to be more successful? Dragons that stay with the hordes or dragons that go out? <laughs> and. I'd, I would add uh, what's better, a good dicta uh, dictatorship kind of leader or a, or a bad, bad democracy? democrat? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, and the one I won waited for and we didn't get it. Question number 20. Which accent is better, Wood Elven or Dwarven? Wait, Wood Elven is uh, Irish, in, right? In, in this world, yes. definitely Dwarven. <laughs> yeah, Wood Elves are Irish <laughs> instead of uh, British, Scottish. usually. Scottish. Oh. In, in my wor world, uh, the elves have a French accent. Yeah, there it's a different discussion. <laughs> have, have you heard about a kid, an American stupid kid, who rewrote or like wrote a Scottish Wikipedia where he basically copied English Wikipedia but uh, wrote it with cool. Spanish mistakes to make them sound like Scottish accent? <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah. basically, like most of that Wikipedia are just his articles. Oh my mm. god. And people right now are arguing, like, should we just, like, napalm destroy that or try to fix it? Wow. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, in, so in this world, I would say dwarves. Uh, but in general, I would say elves. Uh, okay. Because you, they're British and posh, right? They're not Cockney, they're posh British. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Uh, usually, like in movies or whatever, Elf? elves have yeah. uh, British posh accents. Yeah, I guess. Something like it is. Uh, depends on the movie. It's like a, kind of like wispy. Also, again, depends on the elves. Like, only the wood elves in my world has an Irish accent. Right. High elves yeah. are usually more Normal. eloquent, so to speak, yeah. Um, okay. So, um, well. Mark would disagree, though. <laughs> Uh, you guys are doing a pretty good job of winning these tests. Getting lucky so far? Uh, yeah. Uh, I suggest we do try, unless uh, you people are in any hurry to do test of reflexes today. Uh, because uh, next week we're not gonna have Selim. And we'll then end finish inside and Arcana. Arcana will most likely take quite a while, especially uh, with Melora considering the spell she has. And then the other stuff. So, I mean, we kind of procrastinated, but shall we keep going for a bit longer? Uh, Shani is informing that next week we're up north, so it's either I'm late or something. Like, she still doesn't know. Define north. No, <laughs> Russia. Russia? Do you know where that is? No, uh, no it's a, when I say up north, it's going to her parents. Okay, uh, so like going... a 50 kilometer ride, yes? Oh, less. <laughs> it's less, it's really less, but... It's uh, 100 meters. My north. countryside home is 75 kilometers away from Moscow. That's an That's hour... Oh, an hour and a half. Nice. An hour and a half. Yeah, so it's it's like how long is it to Haifa? An hour drive? No. The Haifa. Oh yeah. So it is an hour and a half drive. So it might be even further. Uh, well, anyway, um, so there's a chance you will be missing it, right? Yeah. That, so that's it. Her parents are much more accepting than my parents when it comes oh. to D and D. They're actually trying to get me earlier so I can, like, okay, uh, participate. When it's my parents, they're like, "Fuck that shit! You're here with us forever, mm. and you don't have any other life and stuff like that." So, huh. uh, well, we'll in that case, uh, keep me updated. I mean, it wouldn't be too terrible if we mix next session because a lot of important shit is going to be happening and I would have preferred everybody to be present but mm -hmm. well it's would have, it would be Selim's fault for choosing party over us so uh, screw the uh, <laughs> chocolate <laughs> cheap we can, we can, cookie we can lover just, next time I'm making that, this a discussion debate yes um, the party or the party Exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, the party or the party. <laughs> anyway, uh, should we try and do reflex today? I'm in no hurry. So. Is anybody in a hurry? Alright, <laughs> because people were getting occasionally kind of bored looking during the previous tests. Was... What? No, that was awesome. It actually involved everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I tried to do that. Alright. So, uh, reflexes. Is that gonna be Zardos? Uh, yes. Alright. Okay. Um, question, but do you want a shield? <laughs> I was wondering, wouldn't it make more sense to uh, to do that next week if uh, Zelim is missing anyway? We might have more content to fill a whole session without him missing anything super major important. Either way, one person is missing reflexes. It's Especially if two people are missing. Then we could still play while keeping everyone somewhat ent ent entertained and not having something big missing. Mm, I guess you get a point. Yeah, like if we get three tests, it's most likely gonna take up pretty much all of the session. Yeah, it makes sense too. I mean, I would still continue because I love playing, but um, I think it might be the 
better smarter solution. choice. Yeah. All right, so let's debate about this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Who's voting? <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you, you may, yeah, uh, that's a good point, that's a good point. Just fill next session with fillers, with a training montage. Uh, <laughs> or in that case, a big question is basically, um, actually, eh, I guess let's continue. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Next session is 5th <laughs> of September. Uh, how are people for the 12th of September? I'm good. Good. It's, um, it's the day before my, wait, 12th of September? Yes. 10th of September, right? 12th. I think that the 5th is a Saturday and then yes. the 12th. Oh the yeah, I can't, I can't look at the calendar, I'm stupid. Uh, my girlfriend has her birthday on the 13th. But I don't expect her to party into it. The party sure. or the party? <laughs> no. Who think, has think... a birthday party before their birthday? Uh, to celebrate into that's quite common here in, uh, yeah. in Germany. Really? That you party into your birthday. Yeah. I mean, I, also, I don't even have a party on my birthday. Sunday. <laughs> I I should be good, at, uh, especially if we theoretically start a bit earlier. It should be fine. But I will double check with her later. All right. So far, she hasn't. Usually, she announces her birthday party like a month before. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, otherwise, um, people might actually. So far, come. she hasn't done anything. Yeah. I think she might just celebrate with family coming here on Sunday. All right. Uh, all right. In that case, let's assume that next week we're gonna do tests without Selim, and then have twelfth maybe be the important session. Mm-hmm. Right, then this is gonna be it for today, as I stop my recording.